Good evening, party people, and welcome back to Undertale, but also the bar. It's very well established now that this is the pre-show cocktail time of things, so if you haven't gotten used to that yet, pull up a seat, grab yourself a glass, and follow along if you'd like to. We're dying. We're dying today. It's That's the recipe. Death in the afternoon. Number one. We'll be covering two recipes this evening inspired by our alleged confrontation with the god of Hyperdeath today, aka Azrael Dreamer. Spoiler alert, um, it's the kid who's dead. 
but the kid done come back, you know, embodiment of flower or whatever. It's the end of the true pacifist route, and that is what we intend on completing today, the actual true pacifist route. We've been kind of, we completed our neutral route the last time, last week, and now we're proceeding on with the final part of things, and I think we're just gonna wrap things up pretty quickly, um, hopefully. Um, we'll see exactly how that takes. That's my goal by the end of the night, at least. I see Jaden pop in already saying, hello, Cam, and I say hello to you. Welcome on in. So what I've got for y'all this evening are two cocktails side by side with each other. There are two versions of this cocktail called the Death in the Afternoon. The original cocktail, which you see before you here, is actually a recipe that was created by Ernest Hemingway, the alleged rather alcoholic literary master of his time. You may have heard things like the Hemingway Daiquiri before. That's a cocktail that I think he allegedly created as well as a couple of- he frequently did these bars and stuff and I wish I was more up to date on my history, but I'm just quite literally not very much. <laughs> Stel said, oh, Emmy says hello again. Hey, Emmy says hi for the first time. Then Jaden says hi again. Hello. Hello up there. Don't think I can't see you there. I see you. Y'all are on the bottom of my screen down there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. But there's two versions of this cocktail I want to try. And that's the recipe you see up here, which is allegedly Ernest Hemingway's recipe that he wrote in one of his books. Right off the bat, it doesn't seem like a very pleasant cocktail. There feels like there's a couple of things missing from here, or at least some additions that we've made since then in potent, uh, modern cocktail times. Uh, the other recipe that I'll be covering is by a, another fellow cocktail creator and YouTuber, Anders Ericsson, who balances the cocktail a little bit, dialing a bit back and changing the ratios around a little bit, adding a couple other ingredients to really balance things out. But I want to try it both ways, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it both ways. Jaden says, I'm playing Pizza Tower. That game has oddly a lot of lore to it, and I was doing some research on it. That's something that I feel like we could pull some inspiration of. Foreshadowing, but I've had some surprising luck with some tomato juice in cocktails recently, and I feel like it might be applicable to an entire stream or an entire series of playing Pizza Tower, but you didn't hear it from me. It's actually for other cocktails. So let's get things started around here. So what we're gonna need first to follow Ernest Hemingway's original recipe is, as I'll read directly from his quote here, pour one jigger absinthe into a champagne glass. Add iced champagne until it attains the proper opalescent milkiness. Drink three to five of these slowly. What Ernest is referring to when he says this opalescent milkiness is an effect called the Oizo effect. The Oizo effect. O-U-Z-O, -O, which is in reference to the presence of non-water soluble molecules inside of, of bottles of spirits like Oizo, for example, which I do have a bottle of way down here, but it's kind of buried back. I don't really use it very much. Oizo is kind of, a, I believe if I'm correct in saying, is a an anise-based spirit out of, I believe it's Greece. I might need a fact check on that. But the same oizo effect, or the thing that we see visually called luching, is something that also occurs with absinthe. As it turns out, there's just something inside of these bottles that doesn't want to gel well with water. So what happens is it takes an otherwise clear or semi-transparent liquid and makes it look opaque in a way. So we're going to observe that here by combining everything together. You could also observe it by quite literally just adding a little bit of water to absinthe, a bit of water to oizo, but that's not the topic we're specifically looking at today. So we're actually going to focus on mostly the cocktail. So the first thing that we're going to do is naturally get this thing of champagne open. Um, it's been chilling inside of ice. I don't normally do things like that, but I wanted to be absolutely prepared around here. So let's get things going. We're going to need to open this up. I don't think it's going to be super duper difficult. Just kind of pop slide off. This is one of those, as Brad pointed out, I think the last stream, this is one of those like airplane bottles. So like naturally, I don't think we get the same like popping effect as we would otherwise. Or else I feel like people would be rather afraid on an airplane if there was a loud like, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother going into it. It just sounds like it'd be very, very concerning. Um, I've popped it open. I honestly thought it was gonna be a little more like grandiose, but that's fine, so we're here. I also need a champagne flute and I've got that chilling inside of my freezer right now. When are you gonna get to playing? After the cocktail, Jaden, please have a little bit of patience. We're gonna get ourselves a drink first. Here, like a half hour from now. You can come back later if you want. Here we go. Got myself a nice, chilled champagne flute. I'm not gonna wind up breaking this. To the champagne flute, what we wanna add is an entire, according to Ernest, an entire jigger of absinthe, which we have, at least over here, a measurement of an ounce and a half, or about 44 milliliters. I have a single jigger, 
and the ounce and a half mark is that's the only on the other side. I don't really know exactly what jigger sizes they were using once upon a time, but um, mine can measure up to two, sometimes three ounces, three quarters of an ounce. So that's what we're gonna add to our glass. I'm trying to make sure everything is as chilled and up temperature as possible, because I was doing a little bit of experimentation with my other previous cocktails last night, and lo and behold, I found that at least I finally had a breakthrough moment where I realized that, wow, the temperature of your glass and everything else going into it really, really matters. So that was an ounce and a half or about 44 milliliters of absinthe inside of a champagne, the champagne glass. Ernest says a champagne glass. I've got a champagne flute. And we're going to top that with about four ounces of champagne. Mine's a boot champagne. And I'm not really going to measure out four ounces. I'm just going to go until until we see the opaque milkiness begin to occur. So I'm gonna hold this up to the light a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see from here, but right now, it's a little opaque. Let's see what happens as I continue to add stuff until, there we go. You can't tell from there significantly changed color. That's not just the presence of bubbles and stuff in there. This liquid has completely changed transparencies. And because of that bubbliness, it smells very absinthe, but kind of in a pleasant way. So that just completely changed color right before our eyes. We're going to be using this again later on when we make Anders Ericsson's version of The Death in the Afternoon. So this first version is exactly how Ernest Hemingway would have liked it. Inside of some champagne glass with a bit of champagne, naturally, and some absinthe. We might... I, I would say that I kind of want to mix things together so that everything's a little more homogenous, but honestly, everything looks very homogenous right now. So I think if we were to ask Mr. Hemingway, we're doing things correctly here. Right off the nose, it smells very prominently of absinthe. I don't even think I smell any champagne on this whatsoever. It has a very powerful nose to it. Ooh, whoa. Whoa. Wow. That was bright, exciting, and completely in my face. My goodness. And it obviously tastes like absinthe. Wow, it's so bracing. Wow. That was a powerful flavor. I would never, I would not describe absinthe as being a very bright flavor, but this champagne, on the other hand, it is bright as the sun, bright as a, an eclipse occurring right outside. Did anybody catch that eclipse today, by the way? He had some friends, it was, it was awesome. If, you're, if you want to get some fresh, like, eclipse photos that came out really, really nice, if you check our Discord, one of the folks in our community, specifically Otter Chaos, for her amazing photography skills shared some with us and so they look really really cool this is like very very powerful wow i honestly wouldn't say that it's particularly unpleasant though i mean unless you're averse to the very powerful absinthe licorice almost gentiany i don't really know what wormwood tastes like so i can't really describe it as such but there is a very like to figure out almost like a metallic licorice flavor going on here that I'm honestly not completely averse to. It's very, very bubbly. It's very effervescent. And actually, I feel like this could be colder, but I think that's a, that's a part of the shtick here. What we'll notice in the next recipe is Anders Ericsson specifically stirs everything to bring it up to dilution, to bring it down to temperature, uh, which might make things to kind of add to the balance of here. But this is, this is our control point. The recipe number one, Ernest Hemingway's Death in the Afternoon. This is powerful, my goodness. Jaden says, I'm trying to get an S rank with the noise. I want him to be proud. I think that the, the noise is, actually, <laughs> the noise is a character in Pizza Death Tower that was based off of the Noid from, I think it was Pizza Hut or like Domino's or something. Uh, there's, a, there's a guy that I know who has a little like figure of the Noid that he keeps in his window. And I, although I, can't, I can't see it anymore when I walk by his place. But once upon a time, I could always look up and expect to see the Noid there staring back at me from above. The beautiful thing. That, that, that game is a very big pla it's a it's a fast-paced platformer inspired by Wario Land. Jaden, how is that going for you? Do you enjoy Pizza Tower? I've always want, kind of wanted to play it. I'm a big fan of platformers myself. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take my champagne, I'm gonna put it back in my ice bath. Depending on how many of these that we actually consume throughout the portion of the stream, we might just go straight for the champagne because I do not want that to go to waste. And according to Ernest, we want to consume three to five of these 
slowly throughout the night. So let's go to our next recipe over here, the one from Anders Ericsson specifically. This one, I saw one of his uh, videos comparing when I was doing research for the death in the afternoon, he popped up and I really couldn't find a very seemingly balanced recipe for the death in the afternoon. Everywhere I looked just seemed like it was either taking from Ernest Hemingway's originally or like modifying the ratios in such a way that just didn't seem like it was really like hitting the craft cocktail note that I feel inside of my soul. But I saw his video come up and I was like, oh, this guy knows exactly what he's talking about. And it seems that it seems to apply some of those lessons that I appear to be learning in some of our cocktail enthusiast books. Cocktail enth actual cocktail professionals. The people who make Death & Co are not just enthusiasts. They are absolute fine professionals. So we're gonna do it this way. Taking lessons from actual bartenders from around the world, not just the guy who is a bartender for all intents and purposes. So what we're gonna need is some lemon juice. We're gonna need some simple syrup. Uh, the Anders uses a 1.5 to one ratio. I have a two to one ratio. We might dial back on, this, um, on the simple syrup just a little bit to try to get that sweetness ratio that he's going for there. I guess you would dial back on that. There's like a quarter of an ounce in there. Nah, I'm just gonna keep going with it. It's gonna be just fine. And then we have all the other ingredients totally fine. And we're going to need a stirring apparatus. So grab your stirring apparatus, and we're gonna fill it up with ice real quick. Jaden says, I enjoy Pizza Tower, and I'm on the first level, just trying to get S rank. Ooh, you're like, you're one of the completionists. You strike me as a completionist type there, Jaden. I was always, I, I was never one to be very, very particular about my, um, my completion in video games, because I tend to get pretty frustrated where I wind up completing things to a sufficient level. Um, except for one game. And we'll get to that. I'm not going to mention what it is, because I'd be foreshadowing things a little too directly. So let's take... Let's, let's fill our thing up with a bit of ice. I don't like these ice containers, but I'm slowly but surely figuring out how to use them. Once we've got a sizable amount of ice in our glass, I'm trying this technique with multiple ice pieces instead of just a single big ice cube because I was reminded about dilution and temperature thermodynamics when I was doing a little bit of research the other day. I want things to get really, really cold. I really don't feel like having things... I really don't feel like stirring for the next entire minute, so I'm adding more ice to create more surface area to allow things to cool a bit faster, both including the stirring glass, the ice, and the liquid that goes inside of it. So, let's let's progress with that. Let me make sure I have all my things up to pat here. I forgot to do lap two, says Jaden. I don't know what that means. I never actually played Pizza Tower, so if you're making a reference to the actual game, it's kind of going over my head. Or under, under my pizza. I suppose. It's not a euphemism, I promise. So what we're gonna do is to our glass here, we're going to, I believe we add everything to the stirring glass. I will admit, Anders, I apologize. I kind of skipped through the video. I don't mean any shame by it. I was just doing some last minute research. So if I'm making mistakes here, <laughs> we're gonna need a single ounce of our absinthe into our stirring glass. We're about 30 milliliters. I am not pouring this the way that I want to. Lo and behold. There we go. A single ounce of absinthe, 30 milliliters. We'll have you hanging off to the side a little bit. Death. Death, I say. Now we're gonna add three ounces of our chilled champagne. I don't think we need to add that after the fact. This is the second ingredient listed, so I'm assuming that it all goes in the same glass. So hopefully this doesn't like froth up everywhere. There we go. This is actually being very, very kind to me. Very kind of me indeed. Can I get a full three ounces? It appears like we can, indeed. And the rest of the champagnes going back into death in the afternoon number one. That is a proper bottle for the recycling plant. Go get them, bud. Try not to drop things on the floor and break a bunch of things. In addition, to the three ounces or about was like 80, 89 milliliters of oh, shit. Yeah, oh my God. Three ounces, about 89 milliliters of champagne that I just added to this glass. We're also going to add a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice and a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. The idea is just to kind of bring things together a little bit more. We're adding a little bit of sweetness. We're adding a bit more dilution to those flavors. We're, I think Technically, all we're doing is making up for the volume difference because one had 1.5 ounces and then four, 
and currently we've got 4.5. Yeah, so that actually kind of makes sense. I'm using my store-bought lemon juice. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I need a uh, three I need a quarter of an ounce. I need my tiny measuring digger. Quarter of an ounce, or about seven milliliters of lemon juice. And then we'll get some simple syrup as well. I was very curious to see how the two of these tasted side by side to each other, because I was originally anticipating on just doing the one, but it was so simple. I really wanted to see if we could compare something with it. I'm a man who was raised and educated on the concepts of electrodynamics and electrophysics and whatnot, so voltages are literally everything to me. Quarter of an ounce, or about seven milliliters of simple syrup. If you want to be particular, go with a 1.5 to 1 ratio of sugar to water by volume. Mine is a 2 to 1 ratio, so that might affect things ever so slightly. There we go. Put things away. We'll conduct a stir. We will proceed to provide a disturbance to all the liquid inside of our glass. I tend to talk long enough that things might just chill completely on their own. I don't know. Evidently, I don't need all this ice anymore. I guess I could have conserved the ice a bit and just put it directly into here. Um, there were a couple of pieces of heart ice like 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 this guy uh which are from the experiments of the determination cocktail which i showcased to you all on saturday of this week all that ice away don't need that but uh, in case y'all missed it on saturday i actually on wednesday i was planning on doing the cocktail showcase for undertale cocktails number one and there was flooding I'm not going to bother going into that again, but I showcased them on Saturday. I was, share, I was sharing with y'all cocktails inspired by Toriel, by Undyne, by Alphys, and also the concept of determination. You can see, things have begun to loosh again. Very, very loosey. I realize there is a lot of liquid in this, and I chilled one coupe glass. I don't know whether we're- actually, you know what? Mm, I don't know whether we're gonna fill the whole thing up or not. We might. We probably will. Uh, we're gonna give it our best shot. I don't think my coupe glass can handle But, we're believing into my coupe glass, we're going to strain out all this, all this, all this liquid. Trying to hold back as much of the ice as possible. And it looks like we are off to the races. Perfect! All right! I love when the cocktail measures so perfectly. Great. We have now two deaths in the ap two death in the afternoons, or two deaths in the afternoon. The first one was very bracing. Smelled prominently of absinthe. does have a fine brightness to it, but those notes of absinthe are very, very potent. And it combines very oddly with the champagne, at least in my humble opinion. I'm getting a little bit of... I almost taste herby. Like herbaceous on the end of that. Almost like I, I like have my nose inside of like... Um, I don't know, like an herb den at that Renaissance fair. A druid's house. And here we have Anders Ericsson's death in the afternoon, changing up the ratios a bit between the absinthe and the champagne, while also adding a bit of lemon juice and simple syrup for some brightness and balance. And stirring it, instead of just building it in hopefully temperatured glasses. Hmm. It's much more approachable. That is much more approachable. My goodness. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that's lovely. That brightness from the champagne, the bubbliness is very, very tasty. And now there's not as much of an alcoholic bite like reaching out. I think the main difference I'm getting between these two is obviously one has a bit less booze in it. This absinthe clocks in at 60% alcohol or about 120 proof. It is a boozy, boozy spirit and there's less of it in here 
than it is over here. So that probably makes a difference there. But also, maybe it's because things have been diluted a bit more, things have been chilled out a little bit more, that things are a lot more approachable and more balanced. I think, honestly, I wouldn't say that these, these taste any different from each other. One just has a different feel than the other one does, and a noticeably less powerful booziness. But ultimately, I think the flavors are, are pretty much the same. I will say that in the original Death in the Afternoon, I am getting powerful, powerful notes of licorice, something herbaceous, something that's a... I can't quite describe it in other words than it feels like a cloud of flavor existing in my mouth in a very warm yet oddly cool kind of way. Over on Andres' side, with the balance depth in the afternoon, it is a lot more balanced. I am getting more homogeneity of those flavors. They play a lot more well together, as opposed to kind of being in your face and loud and audacious. And I feel like I can really taste the interplay between the absinthe and the champagne a lot better here. And it's not like I'm tasting absinthe, then champagne, then absinthe again. It tastes like champagne, absinthe champagne, and a little less in the, like a residual absinthe on the end, but a very light one at that. Really, really pleasant. Anders did an excellent job with this one. It was really tasty. And that was also a really cool comparison too, to see the difference between one and the other. Jaden says, I did lap two in Pizza Tower, but it took too long and almost got caught by Pizza Face. That thing, that Pizza Face is absolutely terrifying. It is exactly what you might think it would be. Face of Pizza. Spoiler alert. No, I'm not going to spoil it. I watched all the game theory on it. Champ Synth! Or, or would it be pronounced Sham Synth? Because Champagne, Sham Synth. How you doing tonight, Rye? There's no Rye to be found, unfortunately, in this particular cocktail this evening. Unless you were impartial to the taste of absinthe in your cocktails. I remember, actually, this was really fun. I, um, we have a little slideshow that appears on our television in the corner over there, and it shows up pictures that I've taken over the num past number of years. I believe it was April of not last year, but the year before, uh, this was very, very soon after the bar with an X got its new form. I got this awesome blackboard on the wall, and one of the, I think one of the coolest illustrations that we did on this board back here was for the theme stream, the stream theme of Absinthe, the Green Fairy. And I just, there was an image that popped up on the screen of me standing at the bar with four Absinthe drinks in front of me with these bright and big, like, fairy wings that said Absinthe, the Green Fairy on it. And I think I, I loved, that was a really awesome transitional moment and a level up moment for here at the bar. And just, I saw that and I was like, wow, I'm getting like, Nostalgia in the best of ways. It was great. Rice says, Shop, shop, shops, shopson, shabson, chabson. You can be the ones to make the decision on that. Somebody pop a poll out there. Is it shamson, shabson? Do we even pronounce the CHs? Do we just pronounce them as K's? Capson? Camson? Cap? Camp? <laughs> I don't want to think about camp at a time like this. So, these are the two recipes that I have for you this evening. We're two different iterations of the death in the afternoon leading into hopefully our fight with the god of hyperdeath tonight. That's Azrael. We're hopefully completing the true pacifist wrap this evening because I want to start killing things. My internal murderous desires are finally coming to fruition. And if that is not aired into existence by at least a partially tipsy and or drunk rampage, I don't really know what we'd actually be doing around here. So, there we go. That's what I got for y'all this evening. At least in terms of our pre-show cocktail, let's get ourselves back to Undertale. Right, that's the right command? It totally is. Let's get ourselves to Undertale. Game not found, you lie. You lie indeed. Let me also bring up a little... Oh, which cocktail do I wanna? Ah, uh, the Anders one is so good. It's so good. I'm gonna go with that one first. That's the one I'm sipping on. Also, like, the other one over here is tall enough that you can kind of see it just inching below. 
Now, I also want to let everybody know that I updated the sips command. There are two recipes that I presented to y'all during this stream. If you type in sips, you will get the current recipe on the screen, which is Anders Ericsson, Death in the Afternoon. It's the more balanced one. It's the one that personally I would recommend to you if you want to make yourself a Death in the Afternoon. But if you want to see the other ones, you can do sips one, space, or sips two, and it should give you one of those recipes. So hopefully that works. If you want to take these recipes home with you, by all means, do so. On YouTube, at least, it's all in the description, so you can find it there too, because I want these recipes to be shared with everybody. It would be no fun if we were drinking alone. And tonight, I'm most certainly not drinking alone. Shout out to Rai, M, Emily, and Jaden, who are already making an appearance. And of course, the chat button. Jaden says, I almost got a P rank, but I don't want a P rank. I want the, I want the srank. I don't want a prank. I want the srank. Is P rank like pizza rank? Is that supposed to be like the, the best level in Pizza Tower? It seems like it's a very fun game. When I was looking at lore heavy, when I was trying to look for game ideas, um, a pizza Tower popped up as a, as a recommendation in particular. All right, let's get into Undertale. So when we last found ourselves, at least here, uh, we killed, we didn't kill anybody actually. Asgore was killed by Flowey, unfortunately so. Um, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with y'all. Mystify? Compliment? You look beautiful. And understood you perfectly. It's attack dropped. Beautiful. Nod, nod. Yeah. But so, actually, what we're doing now is we're proceeding with the other steps of the true pacifist route. We still need to go on Alfie's date. And in order to do that, we supposedly just need to make our way to, um... To the... Oh, I was trying to run away. I want to run away. I don't want to be here. Just to her lab. And I believe everything will fall into place. Whimsalot locks eyes with you. I lock eyes with Whimsalot. Console, pray, terrorize. How you doing? I already sure Whimsalot that it's doing everything all right. I've made my peace. Good. I'm about to. I'm gonna die. Maybe I just maybe I just let this happen. Yeah, maybe I just let this happen. <laughs> oh, I gotta walk all the way back to the. I didn't save in between. I have to walk all the way back to the beginning of or the end of. No, the beginning of the Asgore encounter. Bear with me, y'all. I am not a good- Oh, it actually saves in the elevator. That's cool. Bear with me, y'all. I am not that good at video games. Although sometimes my super secret powers come out. I have the same special power in pool, as in billiards, as I do in video games. Every once in a while, I do pretty good. This door must be the village of the king's castle. I'm filled with determination. I love determination. What exactly is in here? Oh, just take- Oh, I just got back to the front. That's easy. I should have just done it that way. I'm- Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. <laughs> A ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hello there. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Ah. Uh, Please, I'm at Snowden in front of Papyruses. See ya, punk! Like, okay, well. I'm gonna, I guess I have to go to Snowden first. I thought we were supposed to just go date Undyne, but I didn't exactly know, like, where that was supposed to progress from. I try to only give myself enough details to get to where we need to be and to provide enough context for, like, creating cocktail recipes and whatnot. Um, I sometimes spoil things. I like to read shit. Hello, y'all. Oh, this is all turned off. Cool. I guess I can just progress this way, right? Oh, no, 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 there's an elevator. There's an elevator. I've forgotten the entire map already. Oh, but I could, Dad. Oh, you know what I never filled up on? Do I have my entire item so full? Oh. Nice cream's changed in the world. It is, though. I, do I have enough items for the battles that will happen later? Ten flakes. Oh, what I could do. I could. I could just get some hot dogs. Ella heats flamesman. This was... That's not where I find Sans. Where does Sans sell his hot dogs? I can never remember. Uh... I think it's right floor two. Perchance? Perchance, Siri? I'm hoping so, at least. I could be wrong about that, though. Okie dokie. Come on down, bud. Hot dogs? Yeah! Oh! Oh, there are no sounds! I can't get no hot dogs! Can I have your hot dog? I love hot dogs. But the hot dog guy left. 
Even though all of his stuff is still here. Guess he's just too lazy to clean it away. Yeah, I want more hot dogs, bro. Sans boy, where'd you go go? No hot dogs for us, I guess. I was gonna completely buy you out of hot dogs. Oh, that was another spoiler that I found. If you buy all of Sans hot dogs, or if I buy too many hot dogs, and I have too many for my inventory, he'll just stack a shit ton of hot dogs on top of my head. I do not know whether or not you can actually utilize those hot dogs or not. But I want to believe that when we talk to our boy, he sets us up real good. I'm now on the pizza scape. Is that like the pizza zone? Is it a whole pizza universe? The collective pizza verse? Again, not very familiar with Pizza Tower. Any sort of knowledge that you want about Pizza Tower is going to have to come from our local and resident Pizza Tower expert, Jaden, who's hanging in the YouTube chat. In case you see somebody named Anthony, that's him. That's him. The name tag is just incorrect. Let's proceed this way. Oh, what's the fastest way to get? I guess the fastest way to get back to Snowden is just continuing this way. Wait, wait, wait. This is the box game. Push box. No. Push box? I cannot push box. Bah! Okay, fine. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> you just let your box just stay there. I don't want to do no box stuff anyways. I appreciate your love, YouTube chat. I saw party horns. I saw hearts faces. I saw, saw smiley faces. I can't properly extend my unbridled emotions of joy when I see live reactions on the YouTube side of things. My overlay also cannot accurately describe the feelings I have in a visual manner. And for that, you have my sincerest apologies, for I cannot meet your energy right now. I can't meet anything at all, actually. What if even is meat? What if I'm vegetarian? Can I really meet anybody at anything? I still don't have a horn that I can yell into when I make puns. I want a pun horn. And it has to be one of those, like, ivory-looking horns from, like, Viking times or whatever. One of those things where I can blow into it and be like, mm -hmm. it's pun time. I don't have anything like that, though. Nope. All I got are party horns. Party horns and the kazoo. Where's the kazoo, by the way? Oh, the kazoo is in its proper place. The kazoo actually has a place at the bar now, so I will hopefully never lose it. Hopefully. I feel a calming tranquility, and I'm filled with determination. You know, actually, the determination cocktail from Saturday does actually taste relatively similar to the death in the afternoon, but that's mostly because there was Prosecco in the death in the afternoon, and there's champagne- I'm sorry, there was Prosecco in the determination cocktail, um, the champagne in the death in the afternoons both of them and that sparkly bubbliness from the sparkling wine is very prevalent somebody pointed out did somebody point out here one time that the theme for the duck that carries you across a disproportionately small gap actually shares some notes with alfie's theme i thought that was really cool because i saw a video for it directly right after if it wasn't mentioned here hello bud how are you doing? I probably still considering the murderous thoughts that lie within your head. No worries, good sir. No worries. We'll be there soon. Genocide. Rock time. Free gold for the fairy. Yes. I like stepping on your face. Take me to Snowden. Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's three gold. Got three gold. I love stepping on that rock's face. I'm not really into people stepping on my face. The other day, somebody stepped on my toes, but I had shoes on, so everything was okay. We could be in worse situations, and I'm glad for the fact that I am living in such a comfortable situation where I'm actually wearing shoes right now. And that protects my toesies. And I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of protected toesies. Protected toesies and good drinks. I'm a fan of that one. And I also like Undertale. Actually, the other day... I, actually, it wasn't just the other day. I had seen some bustle and hustle about this Undertale fan game called Undertale Yellow. 
And apparently it's a like it's a fan game that at least at one point in time had the official support of Toby Fox. And I thought that was really, really cool. I was listening to a little bit of the soundtrack the other day. It's got 135 songs in it. I'm so I'm tempted. I do like me some Undertale. Jaden says he almost won. That's okay, man. Just you gotta have determination. You gotta have determination. Pizza Tower strikes me as one of those games that like you just like Frustration, 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 frustration. Oh yeah, he did it. Because that's how I felt about Hollow Knight when I played it. That's how I felt about Celeste when I played it. Those are just games that just get like, like annoyingly and stupidly difficult for no reason. Um, but then it's very satisfying when you come out the other side. Pizza face gotcha. Oof. Hey, Undy. Um, so I have a favor to ask you. Ah, uh, I need you to deliver this letter. To Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um... Well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't ever wanna ever have to go over there! So, here you go. And that's why you gotta do it. I got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much. You're the best. Sure, dog. Soul Babar popping on the YouTube sign saying, Guess what? It's me again! I don't have any Pokeballs. Or actually, well, hold up a second. If it's Soul Babar, I don't have any Pokeballs. Bokeballs. I can't catch no Solbabor unless I've got Bokeh Pauls, which are, which are Pauls, people named Paul, who play Bokeh, which I'm going to say is a video game. A video game called Bokeh. Bokeh Pauls. That's, that's how they are. How you doing, Bobo, Bo ah, Solbabor, how are you? I hope the last week has been good for everybody else. On the bright side, things are not leaking anymore, and I'm very happy about that. Nice joke. Very good. If you had to rate that joke on a scale from 1 to 10, how am I doing? If, if, my f if this stream had one of those things where you could be like, Are you sad face? Are you meh face? Or are you happy face? Or like mildly happy face? What would you choose? Very quick feedback is not available here on Twitch. Actually, they have those reaction things in the Twitch chat, at least, but... The platform experiences are so asymmetric, I really don't know how to conduct myself anywhere. Did you know that you can, uh, take some kind of boat? It'll be quicker. Oh... The Ferryman. There is a Ferryman. Well, I would say that I forgot about the fairy man, but let's just for a moment just believe the streamer when he says that I was just trying to enjoy the journey. Make some friends along the way, you know? Just enjoy the music, you know? That's what it's all about. It's about that, this is vibe check, you know? We're just taking our time. Taking our time on our ride. It's near the shop that the turtle sells stuff at. Actually, that's a cool piece of information, because for some reason I thought it was in Hotland for a brief moment. I was wrong. I was wrong about that. Determination! Determined! I am the most determined. Nah, not really. I don't think- I, I, I'm like a persevering person, but I wouldn't say for all intents and purposes that I am, like, tenacious in a way. This the, is this the dude you're talking about. I don't know. I know this is the dude you're talking about. I, I knew. I know. I was just trying to enjoy the journey. Come on, it's really, it's really all I'm trying to do. Just trying to enjoy the journey. Totally didn't forget about anything. Not looking forward to having to go through these two paths again. The boat is at Snowden, Hotland, and Waterfall. Oh, is it? Oh, is it really? So, so, so I couldn't. I could have taken the boat to Hotland. Is what you're saying? Well, it's a, it's a good thing that I was trying to enjoy the journey. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have enjoyed the journey as much, because I would have just been sitting on a boat, talking to a person about the man who talks with hands and other very interesting cryptic tales. Which is totally not fun. I, I love... 
I love lighting lamps. That's what I really like doing. That dude can bring you from Snowden Hotland uh, pretty quick. Pretty quick. He's, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I believe you. I, there, is, there is no doubt here. No doubt about it. I am just... Just that dense. Just, I'm just that dense an individual. And I am that committed to the bit. The, bit, the bit's what we're here for. Nope, that's not the right direction either. I definitely did that because I was enjoying the journey. I'm still enjoying the journey. There has never been a journey more enjoyed on this channel. Except for the journey we're having right now. I'm enjoying it so much that I need to occupy at least one more of my senses. Hello, box man. Box, rock, rock box, box, ro- I can't speak. Welcome along to Hotland. Thank you all so much for enjoying the journey with me. You know that dude? That dude who shares his name with a box of cereal? I'm gonna poke him in the face. I'm a Pokemon real good in the faith. So was the boat down here? Is that where it is? Could I have literally just gone? I had no idea! <laughs> wow. <laughs> How quickly I forget things are actually a thing. Can't see you. Can't wait to see you fight the goat. Like, the literal goat. Like, the actual embodiment of goat. Hello. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Uh, yeah. Here you go. I slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. I think I heard somebody murmur on the other side. Oh no, is, is that another letter? I don't, I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? Uh, no, I, I can't keep doing this. I'll, I'll read this one. <laughs> Uh, it's it's shut k kind of strongly, isn't it? Uh, wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, I can go get my power tools again. Oh my god! Did 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 you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Uh oh no. Uh, <laughs> that, that's adorable. <laughs> and I had, had no idea <laughs> you wrote that way. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, surprising too after all the <laughs> gross stuff I did like post about you on social media um, and, and introduce you to my um, human murder driven robot son. And you know like guided you through those puzzles. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Uh, much less, um, <laughs> this. <laughs> and, and so passionately, too. Uh, you know what? No, okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. <laughs> yeah, let's go on a date. That's exactly what I had in mind. I knew these two loved each other. Dating start? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm still getting dressed. Take your time. It's no problem. Oh, wow! Look at you all gussied up! I have, I have at least three questions about how to tail work with the dress, but I'm not even gonna bother asking. I can ask about the dress physics and design after we get past the first date. How's about that? How, how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing! Dating! Start! Hey, wait, 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 wait. Actually, we, we still can't start the date just yet. Um... Dating stop? Um, I've gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. It's, uh, enhancements! So to speak. <laughs> By the way, next time you should really like write your name on the letters. <laughs> that way I'll I'll know it's you and actually get things ready. 
That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome on the day. That's that's how dating works, right? Anyway, uh, no, don't worry, I, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. Uh, first, I've got, um... Some metal armor polish! Um, it's labeled absinthe, but you could just do the math, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess maybe you can't use that. Oh, I assure you, ma'am. I can use every ounce of it. But, I, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales, which manifests here at the bar with an X is, um, toasted oregano-infused gin. I can certainly make use of that too, to be honest. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how, how about, how about this magical spear repair kit, which is manifested in the form of a party horn? <laughs> I can most certainly make use of that, Alfie's. Uh, hey, you know what? Let, let's, let's forget about all the items thing. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> let's just start the date. <laughs> what kind of games do you play? Have you ever heard of PPG before? The People Playground? <laughs> I'm personally a big fan of it myself. No, I don't really play video games very much, Alfie's. Sorry. Dating start! Yeah, let's... Uh... Date? Dating... Dating start? Silence? Uh... Uh... Do you li do you like though I was gonna say it first anime? Oh yeah. You ever watch Chainsaw Man? Uh, hey, me too. I I've never watched Ch the Man of Chainsaws, but uh, I've watched that Mew Mew one. D did you like it? I've never watched the Mew Mew one. Hey, let's go somewhere. But have you seen? Jujutsu Kaisen? I haven't seen that one yet. Well, where's a good place to go on a date? Could you perhaps answer my question about Jujutsu Kaisen? I've been told it's very good. I've got it! Is it Crunchyroll? Hulu? Funimation? Let's go to the garbage dump! Do they have television there? Look, there's the television. We can watch it. Wait, wait, you can't see it. <laughs> we can watch television right over here. <laughs> Oh my god, that one's broken. It's my favorite. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Like, like, televisions, dubbies, trash cans, spears. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's really, uh... Go, oh, oh no. <laughs> Um, that's her over there! I, I can't let her see me on a date with you! She might get, like, jealous or something! Why? Uh, uh, because, uh, well, uh, well, no, here she comes! Up! Uh, Trash can. Hey! There you are! I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea, so I'm going to do it! So give it to me! Huh? You don't have it! Ah! Have you at least seen her? Uh, seen who? I've only seen the annoying dog that's conveniently sitting above your head here. Um, no? No? But, but she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Oh my god. Well, I... I guess it's obvious, huh? <laughs> I cried during the true pacifist round. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Alfies. What kind of subtext would have led me to make that statement? Or come to that conclusion? I, I don't know. I thought that the writing was literally written on the overlay. <laughs> it's a meta reference. Sorry. I... I really like her. I like Undyne. I mean, more than I like, like, other people. I, I'm sorry. I just figured... 
you know, I thought, I thought maybe, I don't, I don't know, I thought maybe by reading your overlay that maybe it would be good for your streaming experience, but I, it seems that I've made some of the chat mad, so I apologize for that. No, 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 don't, don't take it personally, Alfie's, it's fine. Jaden just says a lot, and we love him for that. Is, it, is that, are you sure? Yeah, just keep, keep, keep the show going, Alfie's, like, keep the show going. Okay. It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of, like, pretend date with you, just to make you feel better. Uh, well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I... I really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's, like, way out of my league. Uh, not that you aren't, um, but cool! I mean, the whole, the... The blue border around your face? It's, uh, it's kind of mystical. No. It's downright awesome. And I appreciate you for validating me on that, Alfie's. But, uh, Undyne, she's so confident. Um, and strong, and funny, and I think she has better taste in typeface. I, I would never be caught dead using Roboto, or Pacifico, or Montserrat. Why are you gonna be insulting my fonts, Alfie's? I'm just a nobody. No, you're Alfie's, and you look like a horned melon. And I like that. A fraud. I disagree with that. I'm the royal scientist, but... But? All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. That I'm just a pixelated character in a video game, and... Or maybe you're the pixelated character in the video game. W what do you mean by that statement? What should I do? Tell the truth? Keep lying? Tell her the truth! We love being truthful! Just like Jaden does! And my unpopular opinion is that I think your opinion's pretty cool, Alphys. By the way, I promise I'm not ignoring you, Radio Demon. Welcome in. I'm just very into the... Very into not breaking the fourth wall. Because <laughs> if I did, I'd break the camera. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Ah, 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 We'll have none of that. None of that. Honesty is the best policy there, dear Alfies. I mean, if I lied about who I am, I wouldn't have invested as much in alcohol as I have right now. <laughs> you think death is horrible? Just wait to... <laughs> so what do you think makes people like you, Alfies? Huh? <laughs> Anime? Or rather, the lack thereof? Nah, you're right, anime is pretty cool. So have you watched Jujutsu Kaisen? Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth of the on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. Alfie's, answer the question! But how can I tell Andai the truth? What's the truth, Alfie's? I don't have the confidence to admit to myself. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Admitting that you have watched Jujutsu Kaisen and are specifically not telling me about it? Or we even like roleplay. Obviously, let's, ro <laughs> let's roleplay it. Obviously, let's roleplay. You can be Goku, and I'll be the other guy. <laughs> roleplay? Uh, actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> I, I like roleplay. Good. <laughs> I'll be Undyne. <laughs> which, which, which one of us will be Undyne? I mean, I think I do a pretty good Undyne voice. I think I'll be Undyne. I I'll be Undyne because then you can be Elfies, and that is very much in line with you, like, being yourself, you know? The truth is a la la land. <laughs> Imagine technique deter determination. I don't know if I want Elfies to get determination because if she does, she'll quite literally melt. 
She knows all about that. Don't you, Alfies? All right, obviously. <laughs> well, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm gonna do my best impression of Undyne. <clears throat> You're cute. Thanks, thanks! Uh, you say that to me a lot, and I never really know what to say. Really? But but I know, you just beat it platonically, uh, because we're just friends, and I'm definitely not just blocking out the very obvious advances from a friend who wants to be something more. <laughs> uh, so so, I, so I, I'd like to talk to you about something. Then she, then she, then she kisses you. Oh my gosh! Special promotions? No, thank you. Get out of here. Leave. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh! Then she kisses the. Then she kisses you. What? What is it? <laughs> what is it, Alfie's? She know a lot about the termination in the worst way possible. Oh, don't I know it, Radio Demon? Uh, you see, uh, I, uh, um, I, I haven't been exactly truthful w w with you. Uh, you see, I... I, uh... Oh, 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 forget it! I, I, Undyne! I... I want to tell you how I feel about you! You're so brave, and, and strong, and, and nice! You always listen to, to me when I talk about the, the nerdy stuff, and you also listen to me when I finally profess that I've never actually watched Jujutsu Kaisen! You've been leading me on this whole time! You always do your best to make me feel special. Uh, like, telling me that you, you will beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying. I can't take this any longer. I'm badly in love with you. Hold me, I'm dying. Hold me. What, what did you just say? Uh... Uh, 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 no, I, uh, uh, I was just role-playing. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? It's time for our regularly scheduled food break. Salbabar, how's it going out there? Yeah. And yes, Radio Demon, I have played the pacifist route before. Wait a second. Are, are, are you... are you two... on a date? Uh... Yes? I, I mean, uh, uh no, no, I, I mean, we, we, we were, but uh, actually we were only romantically roleplaying as you! What?! I, I, I mean, I, I mean... Undyne? I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About... well... Everything. I've... I'm... Actually kinda like you very much. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically, and really, I just wanted to make the case for ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, oh, those, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And at that time, I told you I was busy with work on the phone. I, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time, I, Alfie's, I, I just wanted to impress you. I, I just wanted you to think I was smart, and cool. If I might butt in for a moment, you are objectively intelligent. And the robot thing was really cool. Just... Just saying. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie's. Undyed, I really think you're neat. Okay? Alfie's. Shh. Shh. Oh. Uh. Oh my... Oh, what the... Oh. Oh. Alfie's! I think you're neat, too, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said doesn't really matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that 
but you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. A hundred percent at one hundred percent maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. And it involves the basketball. Undyne, you... You're gonna, you're gonna trade me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh, hi, Papyrus. Oh, my lord. Now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Hi, Papyrus. Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog a hundred laps! Who think about how great we are? Ready? I'm about to start the timer! Uh, uh, died. <laughs> I'll do my best. Bro. Oh my god! She... She, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons! Those comics! Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Anime is real. Anime is definitely real. Anime is very, very real, and I do not like the way that you're staring at me right now. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses! Here I come! Uh, uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! Dude, that was all. So, I, I commented before, I have played the true pacifist route before, but this was a while ago, so many of these details are completely lost to me. Oh my goodness. The radio demon says, Alfie's might work faster, but the old royal scientist W.D. Gaster, one day without, he vanished trace. They see he shattered across time and space, falling into his creation. Dark, darker, yet darker. Photon readings, negative. What do you two think? Also, I have intel on Alphys and not even Undyne knows. Oh, she's my hero fan. That's awesome. Alphys is such a cool character. Alphys is like, her energy of being like the smart one is something that I very much look up to and admire. My Hero Academia. Oh, she's a My Hero. Oh, she's a My Hero fan. Oh! <laughs> but who's her favorite hero, though? That's the real question. My favorite is the dude who's got. Uh, car parts on his legs. He's kind of cool. I like him. Yo, dummy, how you doing? Dummy, you here? Oh, ring it. Oh, ex excuse me a moment. Huh. Hello? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. I threw her right over to Hotland. It was hilarious. Oh, now. I feel so strongly for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I, you didn't seem very, um, convinced about that. <laughs> My PC died. That's okay. You can always bring it back to life. Wait, how'd your PC died? Your laptop died? Does your PC run on a battery? Now that's impressive. That's a, that's a, that's a marvel if I ever saw it. Probably Deku says the radio demon. You know, I, I, I see what you mean. I have actually watched at least... A couple seasons of My Hero Academia, so I have a, I have a little bit more I have significantly more context on My Hero than I do on Jujutsu Kaisen because I've never actually watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, that part of the bit was true. Tra -la, la la la, I'm the River Man, or am I the River Woman? It doesn't really matter to me. I love to ride on my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Yeah. Where would we go today? Hotland, please. Then we're off. Onward! Time for the horrors of determination! I can't wait to poke the amalgamate in their orifice. Which one? I honestly couldn't tell you, and I don't think they could either. 
Tra la 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 la. Did you ever hear the old song coming from the sea? I don't. Oh wait, is it re is it in reference to Onion San? Dude, Onion San's gonna start a band. Saltabar says, my hero sucks. Real men watch Tom's and Jerry. Yo, 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 enough out of there. Everybody likes what they like. For example, I like My Hero Academia. And I'm allowed to have sucky opinions. Come again sometime. Tra la 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 <laughs> That's what the fairy man. That's what the fairy man sounds like in my brain. What about One Piece? I did watch the live action One Piece, and I feel like I kind of, I feel like I kind of want to watch all of the actual One Piece, but I'm not ready to embark on that. As soon as I embark on that journey, I will specifically try to categorize it. You will receive at least a three-page document of my personal opinion and emotional feelings for every single episode of One Piece. Um, but only if you make the cocktails for once. You think you can beat Sans? No. You wanna know a cool secret? I do. I do. Power World? I'm aware of Power World. In case you didn't know, that was a joke. What's the joke? What's the joke? What's the joke? There's no jokes here. Somebody's gonna have to explain the joke to me. Oh, wait, 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 I need to go to Alfie's lab. I don't know what I'm doing. I would love a One Piece reaction. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of imagine a lot of my reactions to, like, um, shonen anime like that is specifically, like, specifically just kind of sitting there dumbfounded and like, wait, why the heck, why the heck was that supposed to happen? Stop, don't go to the lab. But why, radio? Why? I want to touch the amalgamates in their orifice eye! That's the plural of orifice. And nobody's gonna convince me otherwise. Before the secret! What secret? Hotland's awesome. You must act quickly! I'm going to the lab! I'm gonna go touch the amalgamates orifices! You can't stop me! Here I go! It's lab time! Not nap time. Specifically not nap time. Where to lab at? Alfie's! Wait, seriously? Oh yeah? It's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Oh yeah, dude. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. But actually, I turned it over to the other side, and it also seems to say here it's an admission note from Alfie saying, On October 10th, at 7.59pm, I went to art class. I was the only one there. I decided to leave 10 seconds before 8 o'clock happened because my shivering anxiety told me that I didn't want to share with anybody my project of combining anime and cacti together. And for that, I'm not sorry. And that's all she wrote. No, Joker, it's an animal, you can't! <laughs> oh my god. I'm only gonna say one word, and I'm leaving it right there, and that is low punny. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say with that. Oh god! Warning, warning, elevator losing power. M tether stability loss. EM tether stability loss. Altitude dropping. Nice. Oh my goodness. This is the true lab. Everything's broken. Oh, I'm gonna do it, Bulbs. I'm gonna do it. Jaden, you can't! Jaden, don't do it! It's an animal! <laughs> you can't, Jaden! <laughs> it might actually be illegal in at least multiple places. Um, but now that I, the broadcaster in the room, has specifically told you not to do it, I cannot be held responsible. So that being said... I'll just stand here and watch. 
Go ahead, Jaden. Do it. What is Jaden doing? Oh, don't ask what Jaden's doing, honey. Why? You don't want to know. That sounds concerning. And we're all standing here, watching them do it. Go ahead, Jaden. Why don't you show us? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, hello there. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use only what we have now. The souls of monsters. <laughs> I'm making mac and cheese and nobody is going to stop me. Oh, is that what you were doing? It was a joke, says Jaden. You, you weren't actually making mac and cheese? You're not feeding yourself? Don't do that to yourself, Jaden. Eat. Eat food. Manja. Manja. Loads Glock 17 with malicious intent. I didn't realize that uh, M Moke Pond could use guns. Oh my god. I know it was you, Radio! I was crossing the streams! It's a bit. <coughs> Cringe moment's over. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Ellipses. It's dramatic. <clears throat> oh my goodness. All of my burps taste like absinthe. It's awesome. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is- Oh wait, this is Alfie's talking! Right? If this is not Alfie's, somebody correct me. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Oh, dude! Yo, this is where that song is?! Oh my god, I love this song. It's called Here We Are, and I had, I could not remember where it was in the game. Wow. This is the true lab, y'all. Oh my god. There's a note on the ground. I can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Power room. I ain't getting in there. Nope, can't, can't go through that door either. How about this potted plant? It's a fake plant! It looks very run down. Buy chips for 25G? Absolutely. The vending machine dispensed some chips. I love that. I love chippies! Actually, I decided to take a dive today, and that was to eat an entire bag of Takis Wave potato chips, and I regretted every single chip of it. But I did it for science. Entry number six. As Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down, their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Oh, Alphys. Oh, Alphys, I know you did. I already know you did. But facing it makes it that much freakier! <laughs> Entry number 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I, I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for their funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Cry. You could face... You could face the music. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Just like my fingers. The finale, says Bryce. Hi, Bryce. It's scary time. It's very scary time. I turned on the sink. I turned on the other sink. I turned on the sink. Oh, hi there. Oh, hello, you. 
Hi, my name is Cameron. You look very pleasant today. Ah, Jesus! Okay. Oh, oh. Hi, everybody. I'd say I don't know who you are, but I am understanding that you are Memory Head, and you are Memory Head, and you are Memory Head, and every single one of you look beautiful. And yes, I just added the permitted term, come, to the Twitch chat. That's basically what this drink looks like. It's called Lushing. It's a concept. Look it up. Hi, bud. A, B, C, B, B, E, F, G, H, I. Hi there. C wait, no, no, I don't want to act. No, no, wait, I can't. Oh. Item chat sell? I mean, I guess I'll use my cell phone. I take out my cell phone. Do I actually, though? I can hear voices through the receiver. Hello. This is Cameron speaking. <laughs> I'm on a live stream. You're live. What do you have to say for yourself? Come join the fun. Sorry, what was that? No, I, I, I don't think I quite actually want to join the fun. That sounds mildly terrifying. Sorry, are you still there? All I hear is static. Okay. Here we came. This is my kingdom come, says Salbabor. Nobody came. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Both Bryce and Salbabor said come, but nobody came. Memory head. Oh, memory head. Hi there. I'll join you. Join along for the fun. You'll be with us shortly. Become one of us. Join the fun. I'm joining the fun. Hi, everybody. Your smiles bring me such great feelings. But still, nobody came. That's fine. Refuse? I don't really... What if I just don't want to? Oh well, become one of us, join the fun. Oh, oh, I see. I think I may have to refuse every one of them. Maybe. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. All right. Oh, there were three. Oh, they were all the same. Okay. That's fine. Oh, hi there. There's a red key lying in the sink. I took it and put it on my keychain. I bet. I bet, I bet, I bet. Beetlejuice. 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 All right, well, that's fine then. That's just how it, that's just how it has to be then. All right. Wait, says Radio Demon. No, you wait for a second there, Radio Demon. I don't actually know the wonders of radio. And for that, I need to be educated. There's a note on the ground, and it says, Somebody helps me is, and it's signed, Jaden. Jaden, are you okay? Is that mac and cheese treating you okay? Don't worry, it's a bit. Just, just making sure. Can't make it out. Drain, dropped it. That's all you can read. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Click! Red key fits perfectly. Have you seriously never seen Has Been? I watched the whole damn thing, Radio Demon. I watched it with my dearest. It was very fun. <laughs> What's bro Jaden smoking over there? It could very well be Salva Bars. I, to my knowledge, you might actually be made of plant matter. Do you get my name? Do I dare say his name out loud? Anna, what did you discover? Is it the real name of the Radio Demon? Which is actually not Alistair at all, but actually Fluffy Buns. No, okay, then what is it? Enlighten us. total solar eclipse that will happen, that will pass over Disney World in 2045, August 12th. We should go. I just added it into your calendar like five times. And five year intervals. Let it be known. Was it 2045? 2045? 2045. 20, let it be known, everybody. In Disney World in 2045, there will, 2045, be, six there will be six minutes of total eclipse of the sun. You said solar or lunar eclipse? Solar eclipse? The solar eclipses are more noticeable. Alistair's in chat. Of course he is. Very good. Very good. Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse is when the moon blocks out the sun. Lunar eclipse is when the sun is shadowing the moon. Or the it's the moon, the earth in between the moon and the sun. What's up? Sorry, I have this on maximum volume. This music You're is so good. Your ear. 
This is maximum volume. I killed my eyes today by staring directly at the sun. Don't do it. Don't ever do it. And now I'm going to kill my eardrums. Is it good, says Bryce? I've seen ads for it all the time. I, I remember watching the pilot when it came out. I was looking forward to it actually happening, and then I binged the entire thing. Anna, may I go back into the zone? May I go back into the zone? Okie dokie, okie dokie. Oh, can we go to Disney? Anna, can I go back into the zone? What did you say? I couldn't hear you. I want to go to Disney to see the solar Can you talk to me after stream? I'm going to go to Disney. Can you talk to me tomorrow? Okay. Perfect. Disney time. Entry number 12. Nothing's happening. I don't really know what to do. All I really want to do right now is watch a solar eclipse in Disney World. But I can't. I must have determination. I have to continue with these experiments. I'll keep injecting everything with determination, including Mickey Mouse. I want this to work. I can hear Anna snickering in the background, but I can't hear what she's saying. I really need this to work. Oh my god. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh! Oh my god. Alistair asks, imagine if MatPat's finale vid ended like, Wealth, fame, power, MatPat obtained this and everything else the world had to offer in his retiring words drove countless souls to the internet. You want my channel, you can have it. If I left the password online in one piece, you may now may have to find it. Oh, that's in reference to all the cool stuff that they did on the Game Theory website. I have not had a chance to look at that yet. I love it when people do like really cool like cryptographic stuff at their website night. Let's just say it already exists on my website and you're just gonna have to find it. It's an empty dog food bowl. Oh wait, can I put 10 flakes in it? An empty dog food bowl. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it. Yes. I already know what happens. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, hi. Ooh. Okay, for a moment I was getting a little concerned. That's okay. That's okay. You can t I, I give you full consent. Go right ahead. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you for that. May I know your name? Well, my name's Cameron. I like to I like to mix drinks. Sometimes I change a life or two. And uh and uh anyways, it's the one for, it's the one piece intro for God and Devil and everything that's in between for, for, between sake. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't get that reference. I didn't get that one. You can't give the auto mod. Why do you keep holding back that word? Let them have it. Let them come. Let them come. Mod, oh mod, let them come. Anyways, let's get back to this shit. You can't give the cum monster consent. It's like a vampire. Oh, oh, no, I didn't die, I think. I think. I think vampires would like to have a word with you, Bryce. What a beautiful place. Entry 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing's wrong. I, I thought they were goners. Gon goners. The clock is broken. It's still a fake plant. Stay still, says Jaden. No, you first. And Solvabot will be back after the true lab. For those who know it all already, I understand. Entry 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I, I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Happy face. Oh, Alfie's. It's a little chilly in here. Entry number 11. Now that Metatod's made it back, made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <laughs> I love the implication of that. There's a switch on the wall! Press the switch! Yes, please. Okay, well, it's not quite cold in here anymore, but at least we got this lovely thing! Hey, hello. Hey, hey, hey. 
Hey, but hey, hey, but hey, hey. I know you're just a collection of dog masses. I know this, I know this, but please, just answer me this. Answer me this. Do you watch anime? Could you tell me something about One Piece and its thousand episodes? It's the Amalgamate. Hi there, Amalgamate. Would you, would you like to play? Amalgamate is not excited enough to play with? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't, not, not quite liking that. Oh, not quite liking that one. No, oh, thank you. No. No, 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 thank you. Amalgam is watching me intently. Would you like to get excited? Puppy cat want to play? Puppy cat want to play? Now it's not excited enough to play with? Okay, that's fine. Oh, should I have pet it first? I think I clicked the same button twice. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Hi. Right. Mm, okay, okay. Going out of the box like that? I, I enjoy the concept of perhaps going out of it. Out of the box, you know? It smells like a bunch of dogs. How about I pet it? Amalgam, it's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. How was I supposed to know that? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi there again. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't like the implication of whatever these arrows are supposed to represent. Come! Let them come. Let all of them, or all of, single them, come. Call the Amalgamate. It's Mal- Orifice's pulse- <gasps> This is the orifice I was talking about! It bounds towards you! Flecking a strange liquid from its from an orifice. And say, oh, it is an orifice! You confirmed it for me! It is definitely an orifice! May I pet the orifice? Is that the liquid? Oh, is that the oh is that the liquid? I I I don't I don't Oh dear. Oh de hi there. Hi there. Hi. Oh dear. Amalgam is hovering close, looking for affection. I will pet your orifice. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, and then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. The entire thing? I dig it. It's a lapdog pet. Amalgamate. <laughs> Suddenly it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Hi there. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. See, that thing that you're doing where you're convulsing and going on the walls and stuff, I'm not quite a fan of it. Amalgamate's striking the wall with its claws. Does it even have claws? I can see shadows between its legs that kind of look like kitty cats or more dogs. I don't really understand, but I think it kind of wants to play with us. Play, little doggy. Play, big doggy. Play, collection of dogs combined together to be the power of determination. I throw my weapon into the corner of the room. Go get it! Sick em, person! Pet the dog! Amy the Amalgamate? Could be Amy, for all I know. The real heroes just walked into the chat. The Amalgamate brings it back to me, proudly. And for some reason, it appears to be the Dowel of Discipline. You wanna do it again? You repeat this process a few times. Go, go get him, buddy. You, you want the, you want the stick? Amalg, you want the stick? Go get it. Go get it. Please. Please go get it. Now Amalgamate is very tired. But I don't- I don't- I still don't have my Dowel of Discipline, so... Nobody misbehave, I guess. It lays its amorphous body on me. No, enough of the- Oh! Oh. 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 <laughs> it dripped so hard, it completely shattered my soul. <laughs> oh my god. Bro's laughing like, ha 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 Is that what dogs sound like, Jaden? Stay determined. I, I'm gonna I'm try my damnedest. All I, all I really want to do, he, the, he's on the YouTube chat. Ooh, excuse me. All I really want to do is pet the dog, and now I'm gonna full force it. I'm a full force pet this dog. I'm a pet. I'm a pet this. It's just not technically. Is it a dog? Like, if I had to refer to it as an animal, what do we refer to it as? I mean, are these tiny little doglets? If that's the dog amalgamate, right? Amalgamites? Turn form into amalgamate? Come in for a big ol' hug, Dogo! You're beautiful. Let's play a game. Come. I call the amalgamate, and it bounds on towards us just like it did before. The liquid is coming from its orifice. Perhaps, perhaps amalgamate juice should be a cocktail. Like, specifically. Like, specifically. What would it be made out of? What would the amalgamate juice cocktail be made out of? I don't know, probably just liquid mercury. Something safe. 
something safe so that everybody can enjoy it. It's why it's crawling on the walls again. It's actually quite terrifying. I don't quite like it. I don't quite like it, but this is the game that we're playing. It's Undertale. Not not Overtale. Undertale specifically. I throw my weapon into the corner of the room and this time it's a bar spoon. You're gonna break shit. I'm not going to break anything. It's made of metal, dear. Metal doesn't break. The amalgamate brings it back to me. It's a bit, so the amalgamate did not actually bring the metal spoon back to me. Please don't throw it, love. Please do not throw the thing back. I see you getting up. Please don't throw the thing across the room. Unless she's supposed to be acting out the amalgamate. In which case, I, I guess no, nobody stop her. Hello. Hello, bud. Hello, bud. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello there. Hello, doggo. You are beautiful in your own special way. Amalgam is twitching affectionately. You're welcome. Would you like to play more? Would you like to play again? Play more? Amalgam seems too tired to play. Oh, should I have just ignored it? Is that what I should have done? Oh, I do not like this the way this thing plays. I do not like that. It's twitching. Uh, do I ignore it? You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. I can't- I can't stop it. I can't- I can't stop. I can't stop the amalgamates. I cannot stop. It's all there is. Amalgamates twitching affectionately. Uh, I think I need to heal myself. Uh, uh, warn do- warn do- warn DG- warn DG? What is a warn DG? A warn dog? Potato chips? Oh, I have the potato chips! I eat the pop- uh, what is that? Potato chips. Cool. I'll have another one. Thank you, sir. May I have another? More dogs, please. Ah, oh, well. Twitching affectionately. Um. Be Beckon? Do we do we play? Do we pet it again? I, I, you know, it's hanging on my lap. Why not pet it again? You pet the amalgamant. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. It's frothing now. That sounds concerning. Don't, I mean, I'm. I mean, I I stopped being concerned a while ago. I think this is just its nature now. Oh man. I can't, I can't dodge the dog. I can't dodge the dog amalgamates. You cannot give up just yet. I cannot. There are still dogs to be pet. Cameron, stay determined. No you. Am I fully healed for this? I am now. I don't know why I keep going the wrong direction. Good night. Good night, my love. Anybody pet any awesome dogs recently? Or or potentially multiple at once? Did you, just, did you just say you pet me? She did. I loved it. But Anna liked it even more. She she currently um denying it. It's the amalgamate. I kn I know what you want. I know what you want. It's that strange liquid from your orifice. That's fine. That's just how it is. I also sometimes have strange liquids coming from my orifices. It usually happens when I'm sick, but perhaps yours is a default state. Pet the dog. Pet the amalgamate. Beautiful, beautiful amalgamate. It rests quietly. Significantly more quiet than it was previously. Come along there, doggo. I do- I do not know how to move fast enough to avoid that thing. Play! This time! I don't throw anything across the room because I fear of things breaking. The amalgamate brings it back, metaphorically speaking. Now it's tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body- Oh, the entire body is dripping! That was something I did not realize initially. That's some- that's news to me. Come here, buddy. I'll pet you once more. I pet the amalgam, it's generating the happiness froth again, which is, you know, now that it's happened a couple times, it's actually quite, um... I feel like it's actually quite endearing. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify. Should we... play with it more? Do I pet it more? Y you pet it decisively. The Amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. I want to say that those are cats. 
But let's stop trying to apply labels where labels are not necessary. It's the amalgamate. And that's good. Endogeny is contented. Oh, I learned that. I just noticed I know, I know their names after the fact. This one's endogeny and the other one was memory head. Well then. I won. Well, that was kind of you. Should I turn it off? The switch doesn't do anything. All right, well. At least it's nice and chilly in here now, I guess. Now that the air is running, that's a good thing. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna have a laboratory, then it might as well at least be well ventilated. That's probably all these why all these things like popped up together, you know? Entry number seven. Willie the vessel will wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor a monster? And this is where the flowers are. Golden flowers. Golden, golden flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the patrol cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you. It won't let go. Hmm, I got a strange feeling when I walk into those mirrors that something's gonna look at me. Something's gonna follow me. Or I'm gonna- Oh, hi- Oh, 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 oh. That's not what I was expecting. Hey there, bud. Comma. Same? You know, honestly, I kind of like the way that your torso, leg, neck, body. Do you have an orifice? I'll hum a song to it. Ha, 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 ha. I don't understand what you said, I'm sorry. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, oh, that's not so pretty. That's not- Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh. Oh, well, I mean, if it hurts, then why, why keep doing it? Unless you don't really have a choice. Um. Watch and be amazed as I add water to absinthe and make it cloudy. Oh my god, he already did it! I did something mysterious! Kama recognizes that it has more to learn from this world. I'm afraid of. I'm not- I, I wouldn't say that I'm very afraid of anything right now, but you are concerning me a little bit. Are you okay? I'm not afraid of you, I'm afraid for you. You know? Should we- should we pray together? Hallelujah. You kneel and pray for safety. Kama remembers its conscience. Do you believe in God, Kama? <laughs> oh, ooh, 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 okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, mm, I like that. You know what? Instead of being, instead of cringing at the sight of things that disturb me, instead, anything that makes me feel an emotion that is not quite describable in a single word, I'm going to describe it in a single word anyway that is vastly inappropriate for the situation in a facetious manner. That's what I'm gonna do. Comma? I'm gonna clean you. You wash your hands. Nothing happened. That's great. I think your flowers are marble custard. Marble custard. It's the look of custard when it marbles. Naturally. Um, I don't really want to pick on you. Would you like to hum a mystical song now? No one hurt me. Oh, oh, maybe I have to look. Maybe I have to specifically look in your direction. Is that what you're looking for? Like, specific, like, anti-validation? Because I can do that. That's no problem to me. I pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Is it trauma? Someone finally gets it. Courage. I mean, 
If that's what me picking on you reminds me of, if it serves you, then I, I'm all for it, you know? I'm cool with it. Reaper Bird seems placated. Then by all means, please be on your way. You what? It f kind of like flopped into itself. It kind of folded into itself. In a way, it's actually kind of cool. Hello. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out, but I think it says cold. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot in the center. Oh, did I not get- Oh! Well, I wouldn't say it's that cold anymore because I did turn on the ventilation, which now that I think about it, makes me think that it gets even colder when there's a lack of ventilation. But I can go back. I can go back. Maybe there was something else in that room that I had missed. In the, in the room that turns on the ventilation. I was under the impression it was the, the cool, but maybe not. Something in here? Something in here? Maybe. Didn't seem to do anything. Perhaps. The blue key was inside of my soul the whole time. And that's really the game that we're playing. It's about staying warm. And alive. And all around, just trying to be a good person. Oh, I didn't read this one. Entry number six. No, 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 no! Would you like to provide more details to that, or...? I'm sorry, did I... walk in on something? Sh should I... Shall I let you finish? Or or would you like the company? Oh, I, I walk very... Okay. I'm gonna walk a little bit closer now. I, I come bearing gifts. Would you like a death in the afternoon? Which, now that I think about it, if you say yes to that, feels a little... ...saddening? I'm letting you know, I'm coming in. If you stop waving, I will not pull back these curtains. Oh, it's just the color green. I really had nothing to be afraid of. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. I took it and put it on my keychain. Nothing to be afraid of, it's just the color green. Color green ain't so scary. Oh, but the determination extraction machine is kind of kind of scary, you know? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Oh, hey, bud. Oh. Oh. Smells like sweet lemons. Are you the one that they call Lemon Bread? Hello there, Lemon Bread. It's nice to meet you. You know, you have a captivating characteristic. It reminds me of these tiny little butthole monsters that I saw. Maybe you've heard of them. Mold Small, Mold Big. You remind me of them. But you also remind me of Aaron and the Shiren. Beautiful voices, beautiful bodies, and even more beautiful personalities. The only way that I could possibly cope with this situation is by flexing, crying, hugging, and screaming all at the same time. <laughs> and now that that's over, I'm just gonna flex instead. I flex my arm! Lemon bread's muscles shakes. Mines are quivering. Welcome to my special hell. What? No, yeah, yeah, I feel welcomed. Oh, 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 hi. Oh, 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 I understand. Oh, I understand now. Wow, I understand now. Hi there. Now I understand. It smells like sweet lemons in the air. Lemon bread. Can I hum you a song? You, I know the Shiren loved to sing, so. <laughs> Do you think I'm pretty? I do, actually. I think you're actually rather more than pretty, if I'm being completely honest. And that's what. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And I'm actually okay with that. Smells like sweet lemons. Can I have these potato chips, please? I got the potato chips. I think- it Oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, you were- Yeah, this is probably the most- Oh, oh wait, I said I wasn't gonna speak about the terrifying feelings that I'm having. This is the most loquacious experience yet. I think you're pretty. I would like to scream? Cry? I mean, I guess I could scream because of how taken aback I am by your beauty. 
Nobody came. Stay here with me. I, okay. I'll try. Oh, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my bestest. Oh, it pulls down from the top. It's got a top jaw. Just like this thing. It still smells like lemons. I'll cry then, I guess. I cried as loud as I could, but nobody came. That's what they all say! Do they, though? I, I guess they- I guess they do say that. Oh, man. Okay, that- there was nothing that I could do in that scenario. It literally... Bit me very good. It literally can't end now. I, I can't- I can't leave the, the lab. You, you- you don't understand. I cannot leave the lab, even if I wanted to. Alright. Well, on the bright side, I know where the color green is now. And that's an advantage. That's a very good advantage, all things considered. I'm coming in! Not even gonna ask this time. I know you're playing a trick on me. Give me the green. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the color green. You know, green is the color of absinthe. I'm not even gonna bother talking to that thing yet. Instead, I'd like to watch television. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Not yet. I'm gonna read this note first. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Under sheets? Oh, maybe under the sheets in the, in the, um, in the room with the beds. Entry number four. I've been researching Cuba to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think you should. Oh? A bunch of VHSs. Seem like mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized. Save for a few stray. Sticky ones? Perchance there's an amalgamate who just likes reruns of the Wiggles. I guess I'll just watch at least one. She's a tape to watch. Hey, why not? Tape number one? What do we got? Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, why do you have that video camera? Shush. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Ed, uh, mom e Get it? Gory is clearly unreactional. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. Oh, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be... a Mummeranian. <laughs> oh, you sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be... a famous Mummedian. Oh, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Alright, that's definitely Toriel and Asgore. Choose a tape? I mean, there's clearly the more to the story. Okay, Cameron. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait. I had the lens cap on. What? No, you're not gonna do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. <laughs> you have my name? That I'm confused about. Hi, Cameron. Smile for the camera. It's, it's funny because my name sounds like camera. I got you! I left the cap on, on purpose! Now you're smiling for no reason! <laughs> what? No, oh, yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter. We accidentally put in buttercups instead. Yeah, those fowls got them really sick. I feel so bad. I made 
think Mom really upset. I should have laughed at it all, but like you did. But anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that it's probably young Azriel. But I don't know why everything's in the true lab. That I'm confused about. I don't really like this idea, Cameron. Uh, what? No, 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 I'm not. Big kids don't cry. I'm a big kid now. Yeah, 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 you're right. No, no, I, I never doubt you, Cameron, but never. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be strong. They'll be free, everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Oh, buddy. Number five? Mambo number five? Cameron, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Cameron, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Ugh. Psst. Cameron, please, wake up. I, I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I, I said... I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? You just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? Oh, buddy. I... Like I said, I've played through the pacifist route before, but it's been a while. And all I did do enough research to try to come up with some drink ideas, a lot of the small pieces I do not quite remember. And I did not know that they were VHS tapes. Detailing who I assume to be the original human, Azriel, Asgore, and Toriel. What's under the bed? It's the color yellow. Oh, somebody's peed the bed. Is that the implication here? I feel I feel that that's the implication. Excuse me. So I think all I'm missing is the color blue. I just need the key for the color blue. And then... Hey, bud. Hi, I know. Yeah, hi. Odd, because... Oh! I was gonna say, why did Lemon Bread... Why was Lemon Bread disguised as a save point? Because Lemon Bread is right in front of the Determination Extraction Machine, and every single save point you go to reminds you about your Determination! That makes total sense! That makes total sense. Wow, I never put that together. Lemons! Hum a song! Lemon Bread's body shakes a little bit. You're very pretty. I, I, I don't know why we have to keep going over this. I think you're very pretty. There we go. Doing better so far. I feel like what I really want to do is compliment Lemon Bread on their scent. You let Lemon Bread be. Lemon Bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Have you though? Are you sure about that? I can't get over the fact that y'all made me give Asgore a howdy voice. Could this be goodbye? Could it be goodbye? Bye, Lemon Bread. I love I love the cowboy idea. We're going with it. Oh, this is where we get the info. DT extraction machine. Status inactive. And it looks vaguely similar to Flowey photo float Omega Flowey's Photoshop design. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I, I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator, and it's empty. But what about this one? Entry number 20. That's where I left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. What about this cute teacup you found that looks like me? Thanks, Agasgore. Asgore is all in lowercase le letters, though. I wonder if that's significant. 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh, Alfie's. Oh, Alfie's. I'm gonna... Because I feel you right now, I'm gonna rummage through all your... Oh, hi there, refrigerators. Oh, hi there! You're not a refrigerator at all! You're a beautiful monster! Oh. Hey. 
I know who that is. <laughs> it's me in another life. Would you like- can I- can I give you a joke? I know your husband is really into jokes and so is your son. I told a bad pun about snow. And it shows no- snow sign of stopping. Her expression starts to shift. <laughs> I remember. You remember your husband? Or at least the father of your child? I don't know what your marital status is. It's very cold. I want to laugh at your joke. Do you do jokes too? Snow Drake's mom? I know you're Snow Drake's mom. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I keep laughing and it's so funny you can't stop. It's so cold in here, even chat is frozen. Nah, Jaden, everyone's just being a little quieter than usual. And that's okay. What? You, you didn't do that? Oh, I wasn't the one who was laughing? No, there's no way. I told, I told him Snow Way, dude. Snow Way. Like, no way, because it's a joke, dude. It's very cold out here. Can I, should I heckle? I don't really want to heckle, but I'll do it because it's an option. And I feel like I'll, I'll laugh some more. But it's not funny. Snowy. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's very cold. Lovely weather we're having. Her expression changes more. Uh, thank you. Can I touch it? If I hurt myself... Oh, no. Let's not do that. It's cold. Want another joke? Here's another joke about snow. I don't snow what the pun is. <laughs> At least she's calmed down a little bit. You won. Oh, did I not even... Oh... Well, I'm pretty sure that that was Snowdrake's mother. And then, like, a bunch of other monsters, because that's how the whole, like, amalgamation thing works, but, you know, you found a blue key. I got a brand new key! What color is it? Blue. Well, that's all the keys. We did it, y'all. But we haven't checked out every single refrigerator yet. It seems to contain samples of some kind. How y'all doing? It's a refrigerator. It's empty. But it'd still be shaken. It's a refrigerator. It contains samples of some kind. Maybe it's samples that... Uh, are you sure this isn't a kitchen and not like a morgue or something? Because... I feel... The implication might just be... That there's pieces of monsters in there. But I guess when a monster dies... They turn to dust. So, are there any pieces of the monsters left behind? I mean, I guess there must- maybe they- there must be? I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm not a scientist, after all. Instead, I choose to relive death again. Because my one go death in the afternoon drink is over. That was Ernest- that was, um, Anders Ericsson's death in the afternoon. It was very it was very tasty, down to the last sip. Now I have Ernest Hemingway's, which is a lot warmer than it was before, but it's still kind of bubbly. Oh, wow, that tastes like absinthe. Wow. Ugh. Wow. But I'm getting a lot of notes of the spirit. It's actually kind of cool. Very impressive, Vio Carre. Very impressive. Empty dog food bowl. I mean, I don't have any dog food anymore. That's chill. I guess. Don't got no dog food, so I can't really do anything about that. But everything's powered on now, so... I could buy some more potato chips. I'm carrying too many items. What? I thought I had space for the chips. Now hold on, I don't need this I don't need this dagger. Hold on a second. Hold up a second. Dimensional box. Put the dagger away. I don't want that thing. I've got my, um... I think I don't need this stained apron. Temi flakes are pretty cool. But I think potatoes just... are probably better. And I got the snowman. I'll buy some chippies. This could be my last chance at consuming something that is... vaguely 
consumable. There we go. I didn't have enough to go. Oh, I don't oh right, because I gave it all to the gave it all to the spider lady. Did I check out this direction? Number six. Oh no no no. Okay, I, I came in this way. Oh no no no. Maybe ask or ask or ask everyone for monsters' bodies that had fallen down. They're still comatose as soon as the altar. Oh no, no, I was yeah. I inject them with determination. Freedom might be closer than we thought. So I was this way. Was there a passageway down to the south? I don't know if I went this way. Did I? Turn number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Oh, I guess I was already down there. Okay, well. I've been waiting for this moment, says Sulbabor. Are you finally going to evolve into a Sivivore? Sivivore. I don't think I should repeat that statement out loud. Seems like another elevator has lost its power. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. A, a, different, a different elevator. Perhaps the one in the hotel? Oh. This is going to be turned off. I mean... I mean... I mean... Would you like to be turned on? Well, hi there. Y uh, you know... You know, this vaguely looks like a face. I'm gonna evolve into Gustavo Fring. <laughs> Why would you say that, Solvabor? Is that- is that before or after the explosion? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Press the button. Turn it on. <sighs> oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I- I know where this is going. Last time, the amalgamate wanted to pet me. So, I'm all here for it. Go ahead. Hey, stop! I don't know who this is. Oh, it's Alfie's! I got you guys some food, okay? Uh. Sorry about that. Uh, they get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... and anyway, uh, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. And then it seems like you were one step ahead of me. <laughs> and this was uh, probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate you came here to back me up. As I said, uh, I was afraid I might uh, not come back. Uh, but that, that, that's not because of these guys or anything. I, I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. <sighs> By the way, I was watching Batman and... You remember that one villain that looks like Gustavo Fring? I was thinking about it. And Pokemon. I was thinking about that too. Oh, welcome in, Avarice! You were streaming De Oh, Delta Room. You've come at the right time, y'all. You might- this might- this might strike you as familiar, but... Uh... I suppose I owe you an, an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. DT for short. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last till after death, but the experiment failed. Are you sure about that? Because I, I feel like I saw some pretty successful experiments back there, and one of them was very easy to pet. It had a very moist orifice, but it's chill. It's chill. You see, uh, unlike humans, monsters, bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt, lost what physicality they had. Uh, pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I, I couldn't tell their families about it. I, I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, and I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now, I've changed my mind about all this. 
I'm gonna tell everyone what I've done. It's gonna be hard. Being honest. Believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on. I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. And thank you, Amalgamates, for not tearing me to shreds and thinking that I'm your food. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. I look forward to seeing the confrontation between Snowdrake's mother and Snowdrake and Snowdrake's father, whose name escapes me right now, about now. Afra says, hey, Cam, and Chad, how's Undertale going? We are hopefully finishing up our true pacifist run today. Oh, I don't like that. Why are you smiling at me? I don't like the way that it's smiling at me. No, actually, I love it. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Adescore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder... What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? I think we kind of already know the answer to that. Afris, I have to ask before we get too far into this, how is Deltarune so far? The soundtrack slaps so hard. Number 18. The flower's gone. <laughs> Ring, I was not expecting that phone call. Hello? It's a voice you have never heard before. Cameron, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? You've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Cameron, see you soon. Oh, that's ominous. The elevator going all wacky wacky crazy crazy. That's also pretty ominous. I'll see you soon. Asriel is apron us. I agree with you, Jaden. Afra says, I've played it before and even played it on stream, but none of chat nor I remember it. No, that's honestly, that's the same way I feel about this. Like, I think a couple people have popped in so far just like, dude, have you played the true pacifist before? And I have, but I played it like six or seven years ago. So I don't remember basically anything aside from some of the wiki scratching that I was doing just to get some ideas for some of the drinks that we were making. Upon, apon, apon. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I understand. Apom is a Pokemon, actually. <laughs> I play the hell out of this game. Oh wait, Deltarune, Undertale, both of them. Honestly, I've listened the hell out of the soundtracks of both of these games. This this soundtrack, I, I kind of I got a little emotional about it. I think the last time that we were playing Undertale, but this this like. The soundtrack for at least Undertale has followed me through like a bunch of different changes in my life, and it just hits me really, really gives me the good feels. Gives me some of the bad feels too. But even the bad feels can be pretty good. Apom is one of my favorite Pokemon, says Africa. No kidding. Is it is it is it the hand tail thing? The hand tail? Jaden, do you have a hand tail? Cause if so, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyway, it's time to face my greatest fears, which happens to be sentient flowers. Lo oh, and behold, what a coincidence. Sentient, specifically, specifically the fear of sentient flowers coming back to life and haunting me in their next life. That's my fear. And I don't really know what you call it. Apon is a very cute and mischievous Pokemon. Oh, yes. Just like that fancy goat creature. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please, do what you must. Continue, go back. Nah, no, that's all I need. Asgore's a Pokemon. Asgore is literally... I, there is, there's a seasonal goat Pokemon and I cannot remember its name for the life of me. <sighs> I see. Well then. This is it, then. 
Are you ready? Delta tail. Dealing in sauce buck? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, no, wait, no, maybe? Maybe, maybe. But I think that's a deer, not a goat. It's been a while since my last Pokemon. Delta tail, tackle, tail. Get him, third time's the charm. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination for like the second time, yo. It hits differently the second time and it'll hit even more deeply the third time. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Well, now I just gotta survive. Oh, nope, just kidding. I don't have to do any of this, apparently. Bye-bye. Ah, peace out, sucker! <laughs> hey, Toriel, it's nice to see you again. So, like, all those things I said about you being, like, my fake mom and stuff? I just want to apologize for those. Anyway, now that that's, like, out of the way, like... You want to make me some more butterscotch pie? It'd be pretty cool, honestly. What a t miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must be so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, because I despise my ex-husband. But don't tell him I said that. He deserves mercy too. Oh, Tori. No, oh, Tori, you came back. You came back to me, Tori. Does that mean... Do not Tori me, dreamer. Pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have just gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, and come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Bro, that hits deep. <laughs> think it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You need six human souls to break up with a barrier. That's a pretty good point that she brings up, Dasgor. Why'd you have to sit here and wait the whole time? But alas, I'm not. I'm not judging you. I like staying indoors too. Tori. No, you're right. I'm a miserable creature. But, but, do you think we can at least? Be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Oh. Nyah! Asgore, human! I arrive from the depths! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else I'm gonna. I'll. <sighs> Hello there, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Ah. Uh, Yes! Nice to meet you! Hey, Asgore? Is that your ex? Jeez! That's rough, buddy. Uh, hey! Uh, nobody hurt each other! <laughs> oh! Are you another friend? I'm Torio. Hello! Uh, 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 hi! Hi! <laughs> There's two of them. There's there's two boss monsters. Two goat people. Where's the flower? <laughs> Somebody bring out the flower. <laughs> now seriously, the math don't check out. It's eight souls. He made them all wait even longer, says Aphras. Seriously. And Jaden, I haven't forgotten about you. The flower's coming. Don't you worry. Hey, nobody, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone... And I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello there. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? 
Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello. I, I think we may know each other? Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Torio. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie. I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Mm. Snowproof roof tiles. No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. And I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Escor. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. I mean, it must feel pretty bad to quite literally be watching your ex flirt with a skeleton. Quite literally, just the bones of the man that you are. And honestly funnier. Yeah, Asgore. I'd like to totally write about that fish thing. <laughs> Sometimes, you just gotta, uh, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, <laughs> uh, just, just, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a reference to Undyne. It's a reference to Undyne. I'm not, I'm not saying it at all. It's a reference to Undyne. It's a metaphor. Well, I, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! I had no idea Metaton was coming to. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey! Shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? Oh. Uh, uh, Alphys? Hmm. No. No, 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 he's right. He's right. Let's do it! Uh, well, uh, I, I, I guess, if, if you want to, then uh, d don't hold anything back! Oh my, are they gonna do it? Are they gonna oh gosh, oh wait, wait, wait! Before this display gets any more NSFW, I know how much you want it. Not in front of the human. Everybody knows that human souls are the most innocent. We must protect them. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> right, 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 right. I, I, I got a little carried away there. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my child. It seems as if you must stay here a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made... I think. I think you'll be happy here. Uh, hey, that, that reminds me. Papyrus, you you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, um, uh, her. Anyway, uh, if, if I got here before you did, and h how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me! Uh, a tiny flower? A, 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 a tiny f f flower? Oh, you know it, bro! It's probably time. Mm, yeah, we knew this was happening. <laughs> Ew, idiots! <laughs> While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls, and now, not only are those under my control, but all your friends' souls are mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. But you already knew that, didn't you? 
We've been here before, haven't we? And now, with their souls and the humans together. <laughs> I'll achieve my real form. <laughs> Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't let me play. I won't be able to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game is between us. Oh, it's never gonna end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then I'll tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll, I'll give I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that just won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Hey, bud. All right. Well, that just that just ain't fair now, isn't it? Even if it means killing you a million times. I mean, I mean, you can try. Four vines to hold back papyrus. Seriously, dude. Everybody else is the weaklings. Get him, Toriel! What? Get him, Toriel! Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. My boys! My friends! That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're here with you all the way. Hmm? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Dude, shit talk the flower. Uh, technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. Uh, uh, but, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. A actually, Asgore, I would request that you specifically not use that term. You, you, mm, 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 mm. I've been turned against you by your ex-wife. La 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 la, what do we need to do? Come on, you got this. Come on, you got this. You can do it. You've got to win. Ribbit. Urgh. No! Unbelievable! This... this can't be happening! You... You! <laughs> I can't believe you're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! There he is. So you're this death person I have been told about. Hey. Are you the guy in the VHS tapes? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. It's the serial murderer. Howdy. Cameron? Uh, are you there? It's me. Your best friend. Real Dreamer! That's my best friend, everybody. That's my best friend. Introducing my best friend. <laughs> that's my... That's my best friend. That's Asriel. <laughs> Oh shoot, dog. That's my best friend right there. That's my best friend right there. <laughs> you can tell I'm not lying to you. I never lie to you on this channel. No, I do not. It's the end. Do I hope? <laughs> Does one hope? 
Or does one dream? Wow, that's beautiful. Epilepsy warning. I hold on to my hopes. I reduce how much damage I'll take this turn. Oh, hey there. Hey, 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 hey. I like star powers. Oh, I see. I must avoid them. I must avoid the star powers. Oh, hello. Hey, that worked out really well! Abriel Jamor, look at your best friend go. Look at him go. He's all covered in rainbows and shit. Azrael Dreamer's name is even dancing around as if there's something beautifully, beautifully correct with him. I think about why I'm here now. I can feel the empty space in my inventory get smaller and smaller. Is it perhaps filled with dog residue? Because that's the only reason that I'm here. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. <laughs> what do you want to do now? I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, I was supposed to stay out of the line of fire. Azrael calls upon Chaos Saber. Um, but what's in my... Ooh, last dream? <laughs> I'll have a bite of that. Last dream. That feels like a cocktail idea. I'm writing that on my board real quick. But what's the last dream taste like? Through determination, the dream became true. And my HP was completely maxed out. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Where'd your arms go? Oh, it's the Chaos Saber. Oh, hey. Oh, I see. I see. I understand now. Oh, my God. Oh, I oh okay. All right. As your charge is Shocker Breaker. Um, can I, can I have more chips? Th can I have chippy still? The potato chips. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. You, you could. Or, or you can not. That's always an option, too. Hey, we dodged them all. As you're already star blazing, you just don't stop attacking, do you? Can I mercy him? Can I mercy him? And we can do everything all over again! You could. Or. Or. Oh, this is what that attack was called. Something about star power, something, something. There we go. Go, best friend. Get him, get him, buddy. Chaos Buster, do that thing you do so well. Spare you. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. What, what am I? Whoa, she whiz. Oh, I see. I understand now. It all makes sense now. Oh, okay. Well. I thought it up. Oh! Oh, no way! Oh! But it refused! That works so well! I didn't know that was a thing! Oh, yeah, baby! Let's go for it! I think about why I'm here right now. I can feel the empty space in my inventory get even smaller and smaller! It's almost like I'm wearing women's pants now! There's no pockets left to speak of! That's the implication, right? I'm in women's pants! I'm not actually in women's pants today. Or am I? Hope and dream. Should I spare you? Spare me! Or, or spare you? That's how it works. Spare you, spare everybody. Holla in chat if you're wearing women's pants today. Or, or dying. Today? Today? What, you don't wear women's pants, Afris? Come on. Get in touch with your star blazing side. It's the end. I'm still dying. But it's fine. We'll just, we'll just like die our way through this whole thing. Oh my goodness. Bro, I can barely wear men's pants. That's the spirit. Women's pants every day. That's the spirit, Emily. All right, Azriel. I'm gonna hope all over your face. And then I'm gonna dream all over your butt. And if you have any orifices left standing, I'm just gonna kind of let them be because I think I've done enough. Yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. These 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 threats ain't doing anything for the god of hyper death. Ooh, big big star power. Pants in general are overrated. I wish I could agree with you, but because of the TOS of at least the Twitch platform, I am entitled to let you know that I am indeed wearing pants right now. We won't have another mistake like that again. Mercy. Oh, I see. Oh oh dear. Ah, my god. Just keep running. Lo seriously? But I'm back together again. It's the end. Nobody can stop us. 
The beauty of being a VTuber. This is fair. That's fair! Technically, you could go around saying that you're just butt-ass naked for anybody knows, and they honestly can't have a problem with it. Close their entire- Uh, man, excuse me. Excuse me, mandatory. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Can I have some dreams, please? Nah, I don't really want any dreams. I'm okay. I just want to spare you. Spare me! <laughs> Come on, Azura, where's all your dialogue, buddy? Oh, what, you stop talking just because I started to, like, not play into your little game? See, that's the thing, like, when you're battling against somebody like this, and this, this applies to all walks of life, honestly, sometimes your reaction is what they're searching for. And if you just don't give them that, things end pretty quickly. Oh my lord! Oh my god! That was pretty cool. I'll take one dream, please. Just don't let him get to you. I say don't let him get to you, but that is an incredibly difficult thing to do in situations like this. Honestly, let it get to you. Feel it. Feel it all the way through. And then you'll lose to me. And then you'll lose to me again. It's Chaos Saber time. Oh, that was the wrong side. And then the stars, star attack. Nice. Chaos Buster. Like a rude buster? Delta in reference. The dream came true, yay. And again. All right, well that kind of didn't work. Oh, it totally did work. As we're already shocker breaker two. Not quite the bullagoo that you expected it to be. And again! And then again and 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 again That was pretty cool. Galacta blaze Galacta blazing? Can I be a mod says Jaden? No thank you. Snow piece, residue. I got the noodles. And they're better dry. Because you want a happy end. <laughs> I would like the happy ending, please. If getting hit by a multitude of start attacks isn't the happy ending, then I don't even know what is. It's the end. I mean, he said it, not me. I guess I'll get some more. Uh, get some more dreams. Dreams are good. You think about why I'm here right now, and all of a sudden, I'm wearing women's pants again. <laughs> It's a miracle! Oh, I see. I see. I have to keep on moving. If it's not aimed on me, I stay still. But if it is aimed on me, just keep on moving. That seems to be the implication. Shocker Breaker 2 also sounds scary. I'll eat some chippies. I ate the potato. I still can't pronounce that word. Hi there. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Goodbye. I'll take that. Supersized, please. Oh, there's a lot of dreams. I didn't realize how many dreams were in my inventory. Wow. Hi there, Star Attack. Get him. Get him, my guy. Go forth and conquer, Azrael. With all the power, no amount of stars in the universe can keep me from feeling like I am on top. Azrael calls on Chaos Slicer. That just feels like Chaos... Wait, did you already do that one already? Is that the one where you use to turn your arms into like sabers and shit? Because that stuff's really cool. Because you love your friends. I do. I do actually. I, I kind of. I really do like my friends. I actually do really, really enjoy the presence of my friends. Oh dearie, dearest me. More dreams, please. Thank you very much. The dream came true. HP was maxed out. Because you never give up. I never do. Oh, that one's fine. That one's fine. It's okay. Oh my goodness, that's not cool. Oh, actually, it was just fine. Shocker Breaker 2! Honestly, I could just keep sipping on dreams all day. My dream came true. The perfect dream. To match the occasion. Isn't that delicious? Um, I thought the first one was better, actually. Thank you for asking. Your determination power that let you get this far. It's gonna be your downfall. Will it though? 
What's this? What's the risk of determination? What's wrong with determination? What's the matter with determination at a time like this? Hyper goner. No, you're the goner. One who guns. I'll take a dream, please. My items fill up with dreams. Oh, they all fill up. Now enough messing around. It's time to purge this time, right once and for all. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hi there. Oh, hey. I like your face. I, I, do, I like your, I like your face. I, I like your face. But like, but like, could you just let it? Actually, you know what? You can keep your face going. That's fine. Even after that attack, you're still staying in my way. Wow, you really are something special. <laughs> but don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. I don't is. I. I know. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I forgot. I forgot about this one. That's the god of hyper death. I was gonna say, for a moment, I really didn't know what you were doing there. I literally can't move my thing, so I guess I'm just gonna struggle. Can't move my body. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. If we're preparing for that, then. If I'm not supposed to be moving my body... Prepare, prepare for anything. Prepare for anything. <laughs> Build my true power. Best ring's got wings. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh. I'm still alive. Azrael blocks the way. Struggle! Can't move. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, you f friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where nobody remembers you. Star powers activate, you little worm! Crawl! High willpower! The whole world is ending. Oh, I mean, with that attitude. Can't, I still can't move my body. Let's just take that as a metaphor. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Get him! Okay, well. Nope, still alive. Ezreal blocks the way. Struggling! Pokemon Cameron, you struggle! I still can't move, but yet somehow my HP has decreased. <laughs> still? Come on! Show me what good your determination is now. Um, I'm clearly coming back to life, right? You, like, you said you feel every time that I die, but yet you can't acknowledge when I come back every single time. Nothing happened. You struggle. And nothing happened. You get home from a four-hour drive, and everything's all right. I'm glad you made it back safely. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. So by this you mean to imply that I'm going to create a copy of you in my hard drive, which will allow me to come back later to this exact state Right? That's that's the implication here. Because I'm going to be honest, if I had to pick any other time, I don't think I'd pick this one. But, if it's worth saving, it's worth saving at least once. I'm going to save Sandy Boy. I reached out to Azrael's soul, and I called out to my friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? They must be. Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. A lost soul. The lost souls have appeared. I love lost soul number one. I like that I'm blue. That's my favorite freaking color. I save you, miss. Okay. I must capture the human. Just give up. I did. Oh, I'm in blue soul mode. That's the implication. Oh yeah, dude. 
The lost soul stand there. Can I save you? Puzzle? Insult? Oh, Papyrus? Oh, pa Puzzle freaking loves puzzles. I asked the lost soul for help with the puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Then everyone will. Why even try? Whoop! Patience is key with blue heart powers. Nice. The lost soul stand there. Puzzle! Give me a recipe. Dude, dude, tell me how to make the best pasta ever. And and somehow allow me to drink it. I asked the lost soul to cook something for you. Or, or, or mix something. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. <laughs> You'll never see him again. Oh, I will. Sans, why you be like that? I mean lost soul. Lost soul B, why you be like that? Come on, dude. The lost soul stand there. How about you? You wanna... Wanna joke a little bit? What's a skeleton's favorite snack? Ribs. Spare ribs. No way, you're my friend! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. That he is! We got the boys back! My boys! My viewers, my beautiful boys! My boys are back! Yes! These boys are my favorite. I feel something faintly resonating within Azrael. I'm gonna save. Saved. Oh, yes, we did. How about. How about Undyne? Undyne and Alfie's? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. More souls! More souls! A lost soul has appeared! Lost soul. I'm in green soul mode. Hello there. All humans all will die! I don't know about that. Not with that attitude they won't, which actually goes against your whole shtick, but the lost soul stands there. Can you teach me how to cook? Can you, what about pasta? She doesn't know why. She kind of wants to teach you how. You're a real, real enemy. I, I want to, want to disagree on that one. I, I don't think, I don't think that I'm the one who needs to be the enemy. I think it's the dude who has you, has you trapped inside of his soul, dude. Fake hit? Hey, yeah! I tapped the light so lost so lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. Mercy is a cry for the weak. Get him, dude! I don't need no mercy. All I need is for you to keep shooting me with tiny little arrow. That oh, wait a minute, I just noticed! The little arrow decals from Undyne is the same as the ones that was coming out of the orifice of that one dog endogeny amalgamates. Uh, smile. I gave the lost soul a big smile. Like you remember she likes you. She does really smile a lot. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. I love, I love you, Undyne. Something's resonating within Alfie's, oh my girl, within the depths. I hear the sound of a beautiful monster, a smart monster, an intelligent monster. And who looks damn good in that dress, dude, get him, girl. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Call, let's, dude, let's talk about anime. Did you watch the live action iteration of One Piece? She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer, which does not, in fact, name One Piece as her favorite. But that's okay. You hate me, don't you? No, I really don't, actually. Oh, I hate these things. I was always so bad with the under- Actually, I could just be using my two hands in a different way. The Lost Soul stands there. Dude! That's okay! Stand there! You're doing so good just standing there! I encourage the lost soul, and I'll continue to support her. You're doing so great just standing there. Keep doing that. Something about the way that you said that is so familiar to her. I've got to keep lying. Nice. The lost soul stands there. You wanna... Yo, yo, remember that? Remember the time? Remember? Yo. Yo, girl. Good to hear from you again. You called the lost soul on the phone. Somehow, she, I can tell that she's sweating. Not just because she's standing directly in front of me, but I can somehow feel the precipitation of her scaly skin right through the sofa. Suddenly, 
The memories are flooding back, and I hang up the phone before I get hurt. No, that's not true. My friends like me. I, I like you too. Oh. Something strongly resonated. See, that's the thing, man. You can't just absorb my friends and think that you're gonna get away with it. Within the depths of Azriel's soul, I reach out to Escor. The lost souls appear. Hey, dude. Um. Fluffy Bear, want a hug? I hug the lost soul. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. There are other goats in the pasture, so to speak. It seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. Forgive me for this. This is for your own good. No, no, no. It's okay. I, for I totally forgive you. Honestly, it could be so much worse. This is just dandy. Hello, lost soul. Prefer preference? Preference? I mean, how can I not love my fake mom over my fake dad who was never present? You tell the lost soul you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. But what if I said I prefer snails? Somehow. She faintly recalls hearing this before. No one will leave again. This is my duty. Is it though? Is it though? Just think about that for a second. And consider the implication. They're standing there. Oh, they're standing all right. Can I give you a hug? Yo, Torio. It's gonna be all right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. I assure you that I am not allergic to cinnamon. Something about this is so familiar to her. Oh. That's okay. Even if you have nothing to say at all, we appreciate it. I'm a lurker myself, so shout out to all the lurkers out there. I understand. And don't feel like you have to say anything at all. Kick back and relax. And, and if, you're, if you're in for hugs, we got those to spare. Oh, and we got Mercy too. Not from Overwatch. I tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Except in the genocide room. Your fate is up to you now. You're our future. Yes. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azriel. And what does that allow me to do? I save somebody else. I'm gonna save you. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger. Stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Azriel? Or was it me the whole time? Hey, bud. Oh. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Azriel. Hey, bud. It's all right, dude. What? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No! 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 I don't need anyone! It's okay, dude. It's all right. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! No, dude, just bring it in for a hug, all right? <laughs> it's okay, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Cameron, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I don't know, man. Maybe you just remind me of someone of the past? Like... I understand that. I'm doing this. It's your special, Cameron. I can say the same about you, dude. 
You're the only one who understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Cameron. I care about you more than anyone else. Excuse me, y'all. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win! You can have it if you want to, dude. Stop it! Stop it now! Cameron. Dude, it's alright. You're gonna be alright. I'm so alone, Cameron. I'm so afraid, Cameron. Cameron, I... Ah. Oh. I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Cameron? I know. You're not actually Cameron, are you? Cameron's been gone for a long time. Um... What... What, what is your name? Frisk? That's... That's a nice name. Frisk? I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Papyrus, again, Alphys, Torio. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they are real, all oh, really, really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I. I, I understand if I, you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. Act is so strange. Horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends. Family. Bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Aw, oh, dude. I forgive you. What? Chris, come on. You're... You can make me cry again. Nah, you first, dude. <laughs> Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. The first... is something I have to do. <laughs> right now. I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. Everyone's power. With everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. You gonna break the barrier, dude? Oh, everybody. Dude, this didn't hit the same way the last time I played this.
Wow. The barrier was destroyed. Dude. How's it feel, bud? Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll, I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? It'll just go be with the people who love you. Dude, I would not be in a situation like this and not try to comfort the person who did so much wrong to me and other people. I, I literally, I literally just, I've been, I, do you, um, totally out of character for a moment. I've been doing a bit of like, soul searching is the wrong word for it. Soul worth searching seems like such a pretentious word for it. I read a book and it made me feel a certain way and it made me rethink a lot of the different relationships in my life. And I, did, I, I was not under the impression that the coincidence of playing this game at the same time of literally, literally getting to the part about just like forgiving the people who have done you wrong the other day. And that's just like, wow, it's so powerful. Dude, forgive- just- just forgive people. It sounds like such an easy thing to do. But like... Oh my god. Just forgive the pe forgive the people who've done you wrong, because the only thing that- the thing that forgiveness does for the other person is just set you free. <sighs> hug the- hug the dude. Oh my god, you're right, you're right. Dude. There's somebody in this world I really wish I could be given a hug to right now. And, and I hope she's doing well. I don't want to let go. <laughs> Frisk. You're... You're gonna do a great job, okay? No matter what you do. Everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time is running out. Goodbye. <laughs> By the way... <clears throat> Frisk? Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Peace out, Azriel. Oh man. <sighs> There's no sense apologizing for emotions, y'all. Just let them happen. <laughs> don't don't get emotional. I already cried today. Crying's good. Crying's good, Afros. <sighs> this is a, this is technically a comedy show. We don't we don't go beyond the bit sometimes, but that that's that's important. That's really important to me. It's okay to let it out. Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, don't just tell me it was all a dream. Oh, no, no, it's definitely not a dream. Definitely not a dream. Hey, everybody. <sighs> oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were, we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us the next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. Skeletons literally can't cry. I just, I caught something in my eye socket. What did you catch? Tears. It was tears, Papyrus. Tears Papyrus it was! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Um, uh, 
how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, uh, from what I am not certain, Frisk, we don't not exactly remember what happened. It was a flower, and then everything went white. And now the berry is gone. When you're ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk? You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We all wait for you here. Nah. I got all the friends I need right here. Moving on is tough, y'all. That's all I'll say about that. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the Human's Quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Truly, truly, Papyrus. Frisk. Tori was telling me how she made free scotch pie for you. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Mm. Oh, that sounds really good. Okay, can I help? Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll, I'll order pizza. Oh my gosh. I love how everyone who does Papyrus always just does the skeleton voice. It's like, it's the somebody determined, just like somebody determined that Sansa's slippers are pink, despite never appearing that way in the game, somebody decided that Papyrus is Skeletor, and that's just how it has to be. No Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh, man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dork! You two are two feet away from each other. Ah, why are you texting? Worry well, not, Papyrus. We're texting for good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a, a bonehead. <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! Bruh. The final camp! Can you believe it, Polar? I le I, I, I said tears. You told me I uh, Somebody said it in the YouTube chat that I would, and I told you I totally would not, and I, I totally did. Oh my god. So, Alfies, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Uh, well, of course I'm gonna go out and, um... <laughs> no, 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 I should be honest, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So, I'm glad that we... Ah, what is it, Asgore? Um, what's in, uh... What's an anime? Oh my god. Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. <laughs> y y you'll see. It's it's like a cartoon, but... With swords? With guns? It's with swords. Bro, I have yet to see a damn good anime with guns. Except for the saga of Tanya the Evil. That was pretty good. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly. That sounds neato. Well, uh, where, where is this? Uh, where can I see the uh, animes? Oh, hold on. Uh, I, I think I have some on my phone. <laughs> uh, here, uh, take a look at this. Uh, oh, 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 uh, 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 that's that's the uh, that's the wrong. 
<laughs> never, never mind, never mind. Golly, were, 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 there, were those two robots, um, um... Kissing? <laughs> Boy, the well, technology is, uh, sure is something now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> what anime is it, really? Ghost of the Shell, Cowboy Bebop, Psychopaths, Freerin, Apothecary Diaries. These are the most recent ones that I've been watching with my with my partner. Who's <laughs> Escort, dude? Psst. Uh, Frisk. Uh, um, you, you've got to tell me. Do, 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 do you think Ascor and, and Toriel are? What, um, do you think they're ever gonna get back together? Uh, no. No, thank you. That's fine. That's fine. I I absolutely ship um, Sansriel more so than I do um, as Riel. Somebody pointed that to, out to me already. It just clicked. Oh man, Uncle from Another World is a dope one. I also recommend Delicious Dungeon. You haven't seen it, bangers. My partner, my partner was telling me, and I was like. Uncle from Another World, I think she watched. And I think she hasn't watched Delicious Dungeon yet. She's asleep right now, but I will absolutely pass on your recommendations in the AM Ephras. Nah, they're not getting together. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Uh we'll make a dream though, <laughs> right? And and write fanfiction? Oh, oh, a lot of fanfiction. <laughs> So much fan fiction, you have absolutely no idea. Do not test me, Frisk. I'll do it. You've made your point out, uh, Thalvis. It's fine. Howdy, Frisk. S sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Escor. I think everybody's trying to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. Um, in that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Ascor, that's not what I meant at all. I would say that I'd like to go back and say hello to all the people that we left behind us in the true pacifist route, but I've got a stream feeling that because of what we're about to get ourselves into I don't think I want to turn back I think I'd rather just move forward shall we move on y'all if you leave here your adventure will really be over your friends will follow you out of the underground What do you mean? As Sans hasn't tried to kill you, that's fair! He's the only one so far. I assure you, y'all. That's gonna change. It'll change real soon. Anyways. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk. You live with this? The sunlight is so nice. And the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun! Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? We should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone... This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something out to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be ambassador? <laughs> yeah, dude, I make an excellent 
Excellent ambassador. I mean, hospitality is kind of the main game here. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, he's go- oh, he's going. <laughs> Runs off screen. <laughs> That's literally what he does. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. And you went the opposite direction, Sans? What are you talking about? Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! There she goes. Hey, I died. Wait up. <laughs> Whoops. What, what, what are you whoopsing for, Asgore? Uh, should I? Should I do something? <sighs> well, we gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I wanna go that way. <laughs> it seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Get him, dude. Risk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I wanna... I wanna stay. I got places to go. I'd say that I'd stay here with you, but... Oh, dude. You know what? With the atrocities that I'm about to commit... I'll let you have it a little longer. What? F Frisk, you, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone's waiting for us. For a moment. For a moment. I completely forgot about my intentions. Oh god, I love this game so much. I also just love the soundtrack. So we're vibing out with this. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Ba, 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 da, da. Oh my god! No way they're hanging by the beach and hanging with Onion San. Oh, that's so cool! I totally vibe with that energy. Dude, that's great. And the fact that the. What is it? That must be. That's the lesser dog and the greater dog, right? It must be. Because the greater dog is the one that's hanging in the sand. Dude, Aaron. Oh, dude. Idyllic life on the beach. Oh. You're a beach dude now. I can tell. I can tell. Where the dummy at? Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. Change name to Angry Dummy. Not so mad anymore. Ba 
Papyrus shrub, party along. Bottom, 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 doing that oh hi um I am unironically shocked hi there hey bud uh welcome back <laughs> did you really think it was over was it I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Re ready? Let's end all, all this for good. Lo what? Lo what? Lo what? Oh my goodness, what? Oh, oh, do I just stay here? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh! Oh, I forgot this was a thing! That's awesome! Lo what? I had no idea! Look at all those people! That's the, that's the thing I forget about this. Like, Undertale was one of those games. That's an indie game. That's the beautiful thing about it. Because of all of these people. This beautiful game was able to come to fruition. I mean, obviously, like, don't forget Toby Fox. Like, obviously, the mastermind behind the entire thing. And all the various people who came along the way to help him out to make it all happen. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. It's stuff like this that inspires people like me to one day make a difference like this on the world. I mean, not even necessarily just to make the difference. It's not necessarily about making the difference. The real important part is putting in the effort. That's, I think, one of the most important parts here. And I love that. So much so. Wow. Do you really have me going there, Toby? You really did. You really, really did. Is there a way to get 100% on this, actually? I don't think it's possible. Not for me, at least. I love me a good guitar riff. Oh, get it, dude. Bam, bam. Thanks to the friends and family for supporting us in Undertale Team. Thanks to you, the player from the bottom of my hearts. Without all of this, would be impossible. Good night. Oh! 
<laughs> Can I have some pie, please? You know what I still got in the fridge, though? I kid you not. From the Toriel cocktail, we've still got butterscotch cream. This one's for all the lovers. Mm. Butterscotch syrup, water, and a single egg white. Put that in here with a nitrogen charge. It'll keep for days. And it's still good. It is still good. Just keep it refrigerated. Just keep it refrigerated. Goodness gracious, do not forget to refrigerate. Obviously. Oh, that's it, y'all. I think that ends it. That's all we got. That was a lot of fun. Well, y'all. That ends the oh-so-totally-shocking conclusion of the Undertale True Pacifist route. I would like to say that it's a beautiful, beautiful moment. And it is a beautiful, beautiful moment. I mean, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh, you can't even see the dog anymore. But there's a dog on the screen. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I honestly was not, I had, I, I had some thoughts. You know, I, I had some personal thoughts going on during that stream. And I will not even bother to apologize for them. Because that is, we exist at this finite moment of all of our lives existing together at this very moment. All at the same time. And I think there's like a German word for that or something. When you realize that like everybody's lives are infinitely as complex as the one that you currently live. And I'm kind of having an existential moment right now. But at the very least, I'm happy about it. Because after all this time, I, I, I know, I know that I am not the only person that's here in this moment. So thank you all for sharing it with me. And as we lay re to rest, this beautiful play that I've been wanting to play Undertale completely like this for a while now so thank you all for the opportunity for that I'll be continuing to workshop some more cocktail ideas inspired by the game the journeys that we've had so far and I'll see you all again on Wednesday at 8 o'clock p.m. the normal time uh, where we completely turn this penny on its head 180 degrees around and I dare not speak of the horrors that I am about to commit. So for now, we'll just enjoy this moment. A little calm, on a little low point, between whatever happens next. To everybody out there, if you were able to experience the solar eclipse today, I hope you had a chance to enjoy it, and not hurt your corneas. If the night is shining, the moon itself, no longer being abutted by the sun, is shining where you are, may you have a wonderful, beautiful, and restful duration of your evening. If the sun is shining where you are, then I hope that the rest of your day and your morning go swimmingly. And if there's any other time zone that you're in currently, no matter where you find this video, no matter where you find whatever happens after the fact, that you have a wonderful rest of your time. And don't forget that what really matters, in my opinion, is about moving on. Friggin' this is key, y'all. Anyways, I'll see y'all next time. This is a lot of fun. Until next time, y'all. Hello, then you go back to it. How are you? And then go back to it quite well. Thank you very much.